savour every last second that we have with you. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's the middle of the week. It's hump day. So I know it's a, we're kind of freewheeling to the weekend, but we're also freewheeling to Christmas, guys. Christmas Absolutely. is Absolutely. And you know with Christmas, it's always spending time with family and obviously this year doing so safely. So today, Chef Clem Pedro, his sister, joins us in studio Yay. and they're going to be building some gingerbread houses. So it's going to be quite fun. Absolutely. And we also have Cohen Bike. He's in studio today. He's going to give us a taste of his brand new music. Uh, it's so good to catch up with him yesterday because yesterday, Chad Simon was actually punting him, saying, oh my word, my protege ah. is going to be in studio. And today he's with us. How, so how we're cool going to catch Chad up. Oh, Chad was so cool. So uh, is it bad, guys? My, my sister and my little boy built a gingerbread house. Oh. I've already eaten it. Oh, you, you ate it? <laughs> I ate it. Naughty it's a glass half full kind of a day. I'm just going to choose not to do it. Um, <laughs> it is going to be an amazing three hours and we got you in our clutches for every second of it. Let's say good morning to the rest of this beautiful team. Morning, gang. Uh, good morning, Good morning, you guys. I see your two beautiful ladies and I raise you another beautiful lady. Hi. Right hey, everybody. Come along, Gukusha Adams. And I'm Raul Demone. Thank you, of course, for joining us. Oh, we're almost at the end, people. Yes. But of course, the magic continues before it even ends. And we are here to deliver another beautiful Wednesday for you all. And we're asking you, obviously, it's Christmas. is like a Yes, it's the, in the next two days, actually, I'm even crying. It's oh, yeah, tears of getting joy. Emotional. You're I'm getting emotional. Because because, oh, oh. I'm going to take a break away from you guys <laughs> for a while. So that's kind of hitting hard because we have been through this year hey, together yeah. and it's finally Christmas time. And that's exactly what we're trying yes. to find out from you on our social media platforms, right? What dishes are you going to be preparing for Christmas? What's going to be on a Christmas table? Kukla, do you have like a traditional dish that you always have for Christmas? Seven colors. Seven colors? Seven colors. Seven colors. Beetroot, all sorts of oh, salads. Just like potato a Potato salad, nice. um, coleslaw, beetroot. Ooh, lamb stew. I'm making lamb stew this year. Wow. I know you might not You're trust my wow. cooking abilities, but... <laughs> I need to test this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a picture for you guys. You will have so much fun. Do you cook at all? Do you help out in um, the kitchen? I help out with the dishes. If that's any consolation. <laughs> no, that There's counts. a lot of them after Christmas. Yeah, so I that's think that true. counts. That counts. But guys, of course, let us know on our social media channels and let us know what the most incredible dishes is that you're going to be looking forward to this Christmas and what you're going to be sliding on your table. Yes. Before yes. the magic continues, let's find out what's happening with the latest in our news this morning. Well, thank you, team. We'll start with your national news. It turns out the DA's challenge to the national government's decision to close the beaches in the Garden Route District for the entirety of the festive season failed in the Western Cape High Court yesterday. But the court ruled that the public may access beaches in the rest of the Western Cape for extended hours. The public can now visit beaches from 6 in the morning until 7 in the evening. The original times were 9 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in in the evening. We stay with local news where the Western Cape Liquor Board has suspended the licenses of 51 retailers and withdrawn another five during the last month of restrictions. The Provincial Ministry of Community Safety says 300 cases of violation of the provincial liquor law and disaster management regulations have been investigated. The ministry says fines of more than 2.5 million rand were issued in Kailicha near Cape Town alone during operations to monitor compliance with measures. We now move beyond our own borders where an Israeli aircraft yesterday made the first direct commercial flight between Israel and Morocco. This follows the two countries' recent engagement agreement to upgrade their diplomatic relationship. The plane was emblazoned with the word peace in Arabic, Hebrew and English. It carried a high-level Israeli delegation that will further talk, have further talks on the details of diplomatic accord. The deal was brokered by Washington and U.S. President Donald Trump's son-in-law and Middle East envoy Jared Kushner accompanied the Israelis. And staying with news abroad, President Vladimir Putin yesterday signed a law granting former Russian president expanded immunity from prosecution and allowing them to become senators for life in the upper house of parliament once they leave the Kremlin. The new law grants former presidents lifelong immunity and stipulates that they cannot be arrested, searched, questioned or prosecuted. The law follows sweeping reforms of Russia's political system initiated by Putin earlier this year. Among other things, it allows him to run for two more six-year terms in the Kremlin if he wishes to do so. 
And now for some interesting news. Acts of kindness, that certainly can be a bit of a surprise. Few things beat the wonderful feeling that one receives an unexpected and pleasant surprise. This was the case for some folks in Charleston, West Virginia in the USA, who had inadvertently broken a traffic rule and slowed down to stop, stiff with fear upon hearing sirens blaring behind them. What transpired next completely stunned them as they were uh, seemingly smilingly handed a gift card instead of traffic tickets. These acts of kindness in the festive season boosted their feelings of grateful surprise. They had basically received a holiday reprieve. The Charleston traffic rule breakers' feelings were probably best summed up by one person in particular, Jenna McAllister Lilly, who posted on Facebook, and I'm going to quote, saying, I ran a red light accidentally, of course, and was, as expected, pulled over. The officer took my ID and car info and then surprised me by not giving me a ticket but a gift card instead how wonderful well on that note that's where we leave your morning headlines we'll touch again on those at seven o'clock Thanks so much. So let's bring you up to speed with the latest on the sporting front, starting with the impending test tour of Sri Lanka to South Africa. So it seems that training will start today with um, or confirmed now 17 players who have tested negative for COVID-19 um, in their third round of tests in the build-up to that test series. South Africa will face Sri Lanka in two test matches, the first starting on Boxing Day on the 26th of December. And it looks like fast bowler of Euron Hendricks and batsman Keegan uh, Peterson are missing from that group of 19 players at this stage. Plenty of footballing action to catch up on from last night in the Carabao Cup. Manchester City on fire, beating Arsenal 4-1 at the Emirates Stadium to advance now to the tournament's semi-finals. On the score sheet, Gabriel Jesus opened for City in the third minute before Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden and Emmerich Laporte added three more goals in the second half to confirm their progression to the semi-finals. In another shock result, Brentford, who are of course chasing for a place in the Premier League next season, they were on form stunning Newcastle United 1-0 to uh, st um, and progress uh, to the semi-finals and there'll be two League Cup fixtures this evening as uh, Stoke City face Tottenham Hotspur that one kicking off at 7.30pm and then an on-form Everton they'll take on Manchester United after that. And then some news of the Tokyo Olympics that have been postponed of course the bull has come in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics scheduled to take place from the 23rd of July to the 8th of August next year of course rescheduled is going to cost a sum of 15.9 billion dollars dollars, with 900 of that being apportioned to measures to stop the spread of the coronavirus. And the organizing committee confirmed that the official cost of the postponed Tokyo Olympics had increased by at least 22 percent, taking into account all of the new costing measures around COVID-19. But at least we are still getting the Olympic Games. And that's where we leave our sporting headlines for now. Let's get our first take on the morning weather. And before we get into the weather, we're going to take a look at your sunrise pictures. Thank you so much for sending them through. And let's start off with the first one that came in. Fata Khan posted this beautiful shot of the harbour in Durban. And today you can expect a high of 28 degrees with a bit of rain. We also received this pic from Nick Lombard, one of our regular photographers. He posted this yellow shot of the sun from the Northern Cape. Thank you, Nick. Today you can also you know, expect some pleasant conditions. And before we get into those temperatures, if you would love to send a beautiful sunrise photo, feel free to do so on the Expresso Facebook page. So before we bid farewell to the magnificent Christmas star, an absolutely once in a lifetime event which grab, grabbed the attention of millions of people around the globe, let's have a quick look at what it looked like in South Africa. Unfortunately, the historic view turned out to be somewhat obscured by weather conditions and clouds across many parts of South Africa. Rain and clouds prevented many South Africans from getting a proper look at the rare great. Now, when the solar systems, giants Jupiter and Saturn are close to Earth and each other. Still amateur astronomers managed to capture some images of the phenomena and shared their views on Twitter. In the rest of the world, the great conjunction's bright splash in the night sky was captured in stunning images. If you've missed this conjunction, and wish to see the planets with the same proximity just higher in the sky, it won't happen before the 15th of March in the year 
20. 80. And then not again thereafter until the year two, 24, well, how would I say it? The year 2400, so it's still some time away. But let's quickly look at your temperatures right now. If you're in Polokwane, a low of 20 can be expected with a high of 30. Mbombela, your low for today, it is 22 with a high of 34. Pretoria, 16, reaching a high of 27. If you're in Johannesburg, 26 is your maximum. Mahiking, a low of 16, a high of 31. Klagsdorp, 15, reaching a high of 30. Kimberley, 14, with a high of 31. Bloemfontein, 18, reaching a high of 28. Richards Bay, 21, reaching a high of 28. Rain is expected in Peter Maritzburg with a high of 29. Partly cloudy conditions for Durban today, a low of 22, a high of 28. Mtata, 15, reaching a high of 30. Partly cloudy in East London, 19, reaching a high of 26. Craddock, 13, reaching a high of 33. Wet conditions in Port Elizabeth today, 18, reaching a high of 25. Partly cloudy conditions with a strong chance of rain in George today, a high of 23. If you're in Cape Town, it's partly cloudy, a low of 17, a high of 21. Worcester, 14, with a high of 29. Sutherland, 19, reaching a high of 25. And Uppington, expect partly cloudy conditions with a low of 15 and a high of 30 degrees Celsius. That's where we leave your weather for now. We'll have another update at 7 o'clock. It's still a Wednesday here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show and we are going to give you all the feels. My song last year was one of my top songs. Is we ain't catching feelings, okay, okay, my feel. Okay. Don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Mr. Cohen Bites is in studio. Everybody, he's gracing us with his presence this morning to bring us all that feel good vibes. Yeah, R&B pop and oh. all the soulful songs that are coming from that man. I cannot wait and I know you cannot wait either. But stick around because it's going to be a magic one and we'll chat to him very, very soon. Because <laughs> we ain't oh,
Yes, it's Wednesday. We are live and we're still locked in at your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And now with a love for soulful music and strong musical influences around him, Kerwin Charles Bikes always knew he was destined to become a performing artist. And now the 26-year-old R&B and pop singing sensation who now simply goes by the name Kerwin has been making waves within the South African music and entertainment industry since 2017. Now Kerwin recently released a brand new single titled WWW Wild Wild West and he's here to tell us all about it. Kerwin, my man, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, man. Thanks oh, so much it's good me. to have you. Good, good, good having you in the studio. <laughs> my heart is so happy because the last time you were here, you were here with Chad Simon um, mm. and we taught you a dance yeah, yeah. and you, you were singing No Feelings. Yeah. That is still on my playlist but now Wild Wild West. Take us through the song. What was the inspiration behind it and also congratulations on a single. Thanks so much. Yeah, we're switching it up a little bit with Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West was one of those songs, you know, it was really a labor of love. It took some time getting it to where it needed to be. And also one of those songs that I just, you know, took my time with when it came to getting into the feeling of it, getting into what it was about. Initially, it was just about kind of, kind of finding solace um, when things were going tough with, you know, somebody, having somebody in your corner, having somebody to support you. Um, and so just the words, you know, and you know, I need your loving in this wild, wild way. You know, when things are going crazy, just to find that person, just to find that comfort, that uh, safe haven, really. So that's what it's about. So, would you say it's a love song? Is it a. Uh... <laughs> I think it's a mix, yes. A, a bit of a yeah, mix. It's a, bit of a little mix, bit of all yeah. the good feelings. Yeah. I like it. But I, and I, I do agree with you. We are living in the wild, wild west, definitely. Yeah. But maybe for anybody that may, may not know anything about you, Cohen, or has only maybe seen the front end and all the epic music, but yeah. if you could take it back a bit, where did this love and passion for music and entertainment even come from? So, yeah, uh, music has always been in my family. I mean, uh, grew up with music um, in my home. My dad always used to sing us up awake early in the morning. It's like <laughs> six o'clock. Seven o'clock, seven o'clock, we used to sing a loud song. Um, it's a part of breakfast. It's part of breakfast, yeah. <laughs> Instead of pots and pans, you know, you had my dad walking around the house singing a song. Um, and then also, you know, church was obviously a, a very big influence as well when it came to music. We used to walk down the corridors at the hospitals and just singing like as a quartet. My dad was part of a quartet, so as a boy, I used to just, you know, just walk with him and just listen to the different voices, different keys, different tones um, as they would sing for the patients in the hospital. And yeah, I think it just developed from there. And then when I hit high school, I found a guitar in um, the garage, dusted it off, strummed it a little bit, and I fell in love with the, with the sound. And from there, I was, I was hooked. Look at I, was you just, I was just picturing, can you imagine Cohen singing in the hospital? We have no <laughs> ill patients. Everyone will be happy. I think we need to get you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <for> sure. <laughs> but I also want to speak about this year, because, you know, 2020 has been yeah. difficult, and we speak about this quite often on the yeah. show for artists, for you. How did you navigate your way through this space and just stay positive and still be able to, you know, bring out new music? Yeah, I think it's all about, you know, positioning yourself to, to, to kind of create, because I think what the lockdown did for a lot of us artists personally, it gave us time to reflect and also gave us time to release. And when I say release, I mean release crea creatively. Mm. You know, a lot of the times we're so busy with day-to-day -day activities that we don't really get time to release all that creativity and you find yourself sometimes just going with it and never really getting time to sit down, actually getting your thoughts out onto a pen and a paper. And I think that's what the lockdown did for a lot of us, personally for myself as well. So I got a lot of music written down. Um, I think I wrote something like 14 songs in the lockdown. Ooh. And yeah, you're getting be, excited. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be expecting some, some good music. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Oh man. Look, and now, I mean, we mentioned it earlier, you and Chad Simon apparently yeah. on the show and you were singing, well, you did the collab, No Feelings, yeah. right? And I think it's quite crazy because we were literally chatting to him like yesterday. <laughs> What's the relationship like between you guys? And is there more of this collaboration coming through because that was a hit, man? Yeah, thanks. Thanks yeah. so much for that. Um, yeah, Chad is <laughs> still stuck in our head. <laughs> Chad has been such a great uh, influence and, you know, just, I think, mentor for me coming up as well. Um, when I first started doing music professionally and released my first single, We Like a Pela, back in those years. <laughs> we Like a Pela? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, when I first released that song, you know, he somehow via the grapevine heard the song and he got in contact with Kosher Recording Studios, which is where I went to go produce the song. And they kind of got together and we met up. I told him my whole story. I told him where I come from, you know, at Manus, moving to Paul to be close to the music in Cape Town. And I was just trying to make it work and just navigate my way through it. And then, yeah, he's been, I mean, he's been such a, such a great influence. We did the collab. I sent him a, a demo of No Feelings and he loved it. And he's like, yeah, 
and I jump on it, and we, we got together, we did a collab, and we've been creating dance moves for no feelings ever since. It's <laughs> just been such a journey, yeah. Listen, um, I know we're still going to catch up with you mm. with the, throughout the entire show, but please sing Wela Capella, because I am very interested Wela to hear that. Wela um, Capella. I'm going to give you just like a, a, chorus, a pre-chorus and a chorus. Yeah. So baby, put your phone down, you got all of my attention. In the zone now, we just keep on getting better. What do you do, what do you do, 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 And the love's so good. Cause every time that I come through, I got my baby singing well a cappella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I you don't want to go anywhere. Stay, uh, keep it locked right in if you're a good breakfast show. Well, like a pillar. Oh, well, you know you're cool when you have your own intro like that. JP Sebastian joins us in studio as we talk a new movies releasing, and this is now year-end releases. So the first one is, I'm not going to lie, when I saw the trailer, it looked a little bit creepy, mm -hmm. but it's funny. We're going to look at the movie Pinocchio. Yeah, is uh, it funny? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure it's going to have light sort of like edges to it, but the original book, which it's weird that I have to describe this possibly, it's 2020 and I don't know how many people grew up knowing what Pinocchio is. Pinocchio's uh, a real boy. Uh, yeah, well, maybe people in our age group can remember that. Not everything's woodworking these days. Kids are, oh, they have their brains in apps I removed and stuff. it from the curriculum. <laughs> yes, I'm being an uncle, I'm sorry. So it's a 130 year old book. Uh, originally, and the original thing, which is quite different from the Disney movie, which was from 1940. Uh, we all remember the design, the little suspenders and the blue little... Very uh, cute. Uh, Apple bottom jeans, I suppose he was wearing, but probably not, uh, is the story of a, an Italian carpenter, carpenter, and he lives in poverty, and he decides he's going to try and make his luck in puppeteering instead. And he crafts this little thing, Pinocchio, which he thinks is just going to be a doll, but... And, hey, that's Roberto Benigni, by the way, the actor. I don't know if you've seen the movie Life is Beautiful. That was 1997, away from his dad. And, like I said, it's quite different from a lot of the more rosy sort of representations mm -hmm. of Pinocchio. He's mischievous. He runs away from pops. He uh, risks life out on the road where people exploit him, where people, uh, horrible things happen to the kid when you read the original book. But there's still hope on the other side of the darkness, light and, uh, and there's uh, also, on the other side of that. And there's also, you know, when he, the, in the cartoon version, when he tells a lie, the nose grows. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So maybe if, you know, younger people don't know why that one emoji shame and get swallowed by a big fish. These are all things that we just didn't know from the original kind of uh, movies. Now, the first trailer, when it came out, I was a bit worried that it looked a bit cringe, possibly, because it came out just after Cats came out. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the very diplomatic okay uh, that summarizes a lot of very angry uh, critics' reviews. But uh, actually, the makeup on this looks really, really impressive. That kid, little eight-year-old actor, spent three hours in a makeup chair every day for shooting this. How you get a kid to sit still for that long? Maybe this movie can get your kids to sit still for two hours, but three hours every day for the, to make the kid look like wood. I think that's a healthy point. If there's not too much computer graphics, mm. make it look more real, make it look more immersive. I can actually touch that thing. Like, uh, really, really, you know, Very helps the emotion, especially for the little ones. So this movie is coming out on the 1st of January 2021. How dare you just say that year's name in front of me after this year? It's a reality. Is we can't <laughs> escape it. We can't escape that the 2021 is on its way. I can see your nose growing. No, 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 no. I was telling the truth. Now, this one I'm very excited about. The mm -hmm. next movie we're about to discuss, Soul. It took me by surprise. I mean, there's big names in it. Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey. Mm -hmm. uh, Felicia Rashad, Questlove, the drummer. Uh, I love how Felicia's name is spelled. It's P-H-Y-L-I-C-I-A. I'm not going to argue with that lady. <laughs> she has, she's got a very firm look about her and, and is beloved, obviously, from past TV shows that she did, some of which we won't mention because of unmentionables these days, Bill Cosby. Soul, however, Jamie Foxx is one of the most talented people alive. He is. Honestly, the dude can sing, the dude can act. He's got an Oscar, obviously, that was for Ray. He made his start in In Living Color, where he was ready to do any kind of cheesy comedy that you could imagine, and I love him so much for just being able to take the mickey out of himself like that. So, uh, he gets the soul taken out of his body in the story. He plays this jazz singer, well, jazz pianist, rather, who is uh, on the up and up. He's got this career opportunity to play in a club that he's always wanted to and falls down a manhole and finds himself on the other side of what these creatures that you're looking at here call the great before. This is where souls are waiting to occupy a body. So he has to be mentor to Tina Fey's character to tell her there's a reason to come to Earth. Uh, I don't know if I could buy that, but maybe I'm going to watch Soul. But this is just the thing about Pixar movies. Honestly, they are life-affirming. They are, they and there's always a hidden message, so 
parents taking their children will enjoy this movie just as much as the kids will Absolutely. love. Absolutely. I learned so much, ones. even though I'm not a dad, about uh, what kids go through with uh, the previous movie that the director made, uh, Pete Docter. Inside Out. Inside Out was yes. a miracle. And uh, this already, critics were saying the same thing for it. It looks so cute. We'll look it's so cute. That was my we'll favorite. Where, where they, they can't taste, <laughs> and they but can't they can't touch. Like humans, so the pizza no. just finds its way to the other side as much as the jazz. The kids will enjoy it. That's also coming out and on the 1st of January. Well, JP Sebastian's not going anywhere, so stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show as we talk more movies releasing a little bit later. Inconclusive. <laughs> Welcome back to a fantastic show this morning. It really has been a lot of fun, and we're going to continue with that right now with some birthday wishes. <laughs> happy birthday. Have a happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. A very happy birthday to you. Do the dance, man. Oh, do the dance. We've got to feel the dance in the pants. Oh, We've got to do yes. the dance, man. It's that time of the day <laughs> where we wish you our most loved and beloved viewers a very happy birthday. If it is your birthday, you share it with uh, some good company. Oh, very one good. of South Africa's prominent personalities, Somiz Mklongo Motawu, who turns 48 years old years today. Young. Years young. Years young, actually. Yes. If you don't know him, where have you been, okay? It means that How? you've been living under How? a rock. Yeah. He's one of the most loved personalities in South Africa. He is a brand ambassador, radio personality, TV personality, actor, choreographer, and author, okay? Yeah. It's been a bliss watching him grow in the industry and being an inspiration to a lot of people. Happy birthday, Songaka. <laughs> oh man, we absolutely love him. He's a force of nature. So we are celebrating your birthday today as well with a very special treat. Um, take Look at that, it's beautiful. Um, is it even a birthday without something sweet? So no. um, we will be creating this in just a moment, but a very happy birthday to Erica Elton, De Klerk, uh, Alicia, the twins, Brittany and Bridget. This chocolate mousse <laughs> is just for you. We're gonna make it on your behalf a very, very happy birthday, guys. Yes, please, it's been such a beautiful morning so far. Christmas is just around the corner and we want to make something really special for you. Keep those birthday wishes coming, we love to see them. Happy birthday to Zara. Tabelo and Sikade and Ubole. Mm -hmm. And this one goes out to you, Zara. Take a look. Oh, wow. 
actually, I think it's time for us to get straight into the race. Are you ready? Because you're the, making into the this. right headspace. Okay, we can do this. Um, we're going to do something quite lovely and delicious. Um, mm. Our friends at the Bewell have opened my eyes to the possibilities of the avocado. Okay, the avocado. Avocado. Oh. Yeah, it's avocado. I was being okay. cheeky there. Avocado. Um, have you not seen the video, the viral video with the person talking about the avocado? Oh no, I um, haven't. It's very, very funny. Um, so we're going to be replacing the cream in our chocolate mousse with yeah. avocado, which gives it the beautiful creamy texture. Mm. A couple of our chefs have been doing this. We've obviously had abos in season and the Avocado Growing Association, they've extended the growing season, believe it or not. So we okay. get better abos for less, <laughs> for longer. Mm. And thanks to our Be Well, um, we are able to ensure that this is one of the healthiest um, chocolate mousses that you'll be able to, to take in. So, and also vegan friendly, right? Completely. Um, and it's going to be delicious, which is the most <laughs> important thing. Uh, Be Well canola oil locally produced um, is high in omega-3, endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa. You can see by the little seal that it carries. Yes. That seal is important. Look out for it on, where's the camera there? That's something that you really need to be looking out for <laughs> on everything that you buy. Okay, so let's get cracking. I, I suppose I should start with the avocado. Oh, they look so beautiful inside. They uh, are beautiful and creamy. So unlike um, T-Man, I'm, I'm not going to chop them with the skins on. <laughs> I, I, so that was a We're dig. not going to mention his name. The, no, wherever you are, buddy. I hope you, you got the, oh, the so shade. Man. Um, and these are, these are beautiful. I love and Evo's G. And to yeah. see you incorporate them in a dessert is something that's really special for That's me. clever, huh? Hey? Mm. Um, and they will. They'll give it a beautiful creamy texture. And they're not the strongest of flavors. So, mm. um, and this, I mean, especially if you've got um, avocado that's tending towards the softer side. These are beautifully, like, perfectly ripe. Um, are you a dessert person, though? Not at all. Is this the first time yeah. you're making dessert? Um, <laughs> the very first time. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I prefer savoury things. I'm okay. just that umami kind of guy. Mm. Um, but I, I'll, I'll have a little bit of a dessert from time to time. Um, I know a lot of people who sit and eat a tub of chocolate mousse. Unprovoked, okay, because they love it that much. <laughs> I provoke you to eat it. I'm going to just use half of this banana for now. Okay. Uh, so we just put two whole avos in there. Um, we did, and the relatively small ones. I mean, you can, okay. you can measure. We've got a little bit of our cocoa powder going in as well. Mm -hmm. What is chocolate mousse about cocoa powder? Uh, maple syrup. It's got a beautiful kind of caramelized uh, flavor. You can use any kind of syrup. You could even use a um, honey, mm. I suppose, if you wanted. So I this is where we the, get the, the sweetness from. Yeah. Um, and you could use a date syrup if you wanted as well. Date syrup is so hot right now, mm. um, which is a great kind of... Um, it's a great sweetener, but it's not quite... Um, yeah, it's refined as a as a normal syrup, but yeah. hey, it's Christmas, man. Let's do something Why not? special. Um, and what's got that? Vanilla essence oh, going vanilla in essence. for a little bit of a flavour, and then just to add a little bit of extra creamy texture, um, we're going to put about two tablespoons of that guy in there, and that's going to give it a beautiful, lovely mouthfeel and texture. And oh my gosh! So I've actually I've never done this before, so, so I, I, I hope this works. <laughs> I trust you. You can do it. Give it a good go. Amazing. Just like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was panicking for a I was, eh? <laughs> you know, if you have that moment, I mean, we use this little guy all the time. You're like, mm. is there enough moisture in there? Yes. Is there enough liquid in there? Yes. Is it going to actually catch? I'm going to have to go like, but no, that came out beautifully. Wow. So oh, wow, Dee, I'm this. so proud of you. Thank you. I'm actually like getting goosebumps because this worked. Is that weird? Um, <laughs> no, not. You can use the <laughs> Avo um, spoon. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little bit of white. Mm -hmm. This thing has been sanitized and cleaned about 50 yeah. times. <laughs> um, here we go. And it smells amazing. <gasps> and it's going to be fresh. Look at that creamy texture. Hey, you'd think that I'd whipped up the cream to kind of soft peaks, hey? And the thing is, you did this in just it, under eh? five minutes. You I can know. make this in three minutes and it's done. There we go. Wow. Overload it. And then will you dress it with some of those berries? With pleasure, um, How sir. plump and beautiful are our berries at the moment? Summer Let me season. see how you've done yours over there. Okay, cool. You just place it nicely. Yes, of course, because I made those. <laughs> um, oh, that's lovely. It's creamy. Mm. You don't really get, like, you can't really taste that ever. But it, in terms of the mouthfeel, it's so smooth and soft and lovely and oh delicious. 
And I like the fact that you've kept the little stalks on the, I had to, the strawberry. Cause, cause for Christmas. Completely. Christmas colours. Really, really special. Um, and, I mean, you could probably even go with a little bit more Be Well there to give it mm. even a, a creamier a texture and a beautiful gloss to it. Mm. It's delicious. It's healthy. You're getting all of the omegas that you need in there. You're introducing some beautiful antioxidants with your berries. Yes. Delicious. It might as well be well our birthdays today, hey? Honestly, I Ooh. love that so much. Make sure to head on over to our website, expressoshow.com, to get your hands Yum. on this very delicious yet so quick recipe. Recipe. Have a taste. I have to have a taste. go with, in. With the berry, with the berry, with the berry. Oh, okay. Do it. Good, have a bit of raspberry in it. Mm hmm Mit lang tanner. Hey, it's nice, eh? It's delicious, G. Hey. Shout out to you, man. Clever. Shout out to mm. our foodie team, man. This is a win. Thank you, Bewell, for opening my eyes. <laughs> Chocolate mousse. <laughs> Well, love, food, life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Mango Airlines, where they strive to meet every unique need of their customers by tailoring each interaction to suit their needs. While we prepare for takeoff into the holiday season, Mango would like to thank you for your most valued support and loyalty during this new normal. Now, fasten your seatbelts. Take note of your safety card, which can be found in the seat pocket in front of you, and take this time to enjoy your festive moments responsibly with your most loved ones and families. The exits into the new year are this way and that way. May 2021 be a prosperous, healthy, and safe one for all. Go discover more. Go Mango. Terms and conditions apply. It's my feel good worthy show. Everybody is still keeping it locked right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, G, I have to speak about G, even though he's low-key somewhere at the back. He's arguably the most oh, yeah. and the biggest coffee fanatic among all of us. Hands but down. he's also <laughs> the one that always leaves his gift buying to the last minute, like yeah. on the tippy. <laughs> yeah, no, so you head over to the Vienna waterfront to find something to put under the tree. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I think by now you guys know that I am Espresso's Nespresso King. I absolutely love it. And I really want to share the joy that this little machine and this amazing coffee has brought into my life. Now, if you're like me, a coffee-loving last-minute Christmas shopper, then there really is only one place to go. I think we have a winner. Now, the Grand Latissima that I've got at home is amazing. It does it all. Um, the Creatista is probably the Mac Daddy of them all, but I love the look of this. And without giving away who I'm giving it to, this particular person is very stylish, and I love the look and feel of this. It's also got a lovely kind of retro style element to it, which will suit their decor, and it does it all. And most importantly, it's got a brilliant price tag. This is, on balance, I think the perfect machine. Let's get her wrapped. Sorry.
Wow, thank you so much. You are a legend. Now it looks as stylishly wrapped on the outside as it does on the inside. All that's left is to sneak this under the tree and just wait for the look on that person's face when they realize they've gotten the best Christmas present ever. So I have a feeling the person that, that is going to is probably watching right now. Okay. So you can think about that. <laughs> you can think about if you deserve a brand new Nespresso machine. That look cool, man. You had some I choices. Loved, yeah, I yeah, know. It, it was difficult, but I loved the, the retro styling there was what sold it for me. But the array is amazing, and there's something for every choice, uh, every kind of person, every personality, every style kind of variant. Um, and, of course, then I had to go back and, and recharge with coffee capsules for myself. I was going to get something for it's yourself. It's festive season, baby. It's festive. <laughs> Season, but thank you so much to the team at Nespresso for that, for helping me spread some Christmas cheer. We chose some of the world's rarest local coffee crafts and refined them to create five distinct new tastes. After all, we are the choices we make. Well, you can definitely add that in your Christmas card, but yes. also we're speaking all things what you are going to be putting on your Christmas plate because we are counting down the days <laughs> for inspiration, for ingredients, for everything. Oh. And we pose that question to you on our social media platforms. And of course, everybody came through with all the ideas and all the family recipes. <sighs> what do people have to say? Mark Gavin says, low budget Christmas this year. We are having a bring and bry family gathering, salads and meats and a secret Santa gift exchange and no cell phones. That's a beautiful Christmas. That's a beautiful way of spending Christmas in 2020. So shout out to you Mark Gavin. Usin Diniki Wemi and he says good family bry and pup and some green salads. Oh sounds delicious. You're not South African if you don't like yourself a good bry okay. Absolutely. Colleen says good morning family. I'll be making the usual um, chickpea pie, uh, chick pie tongue, fried chick and is it pilas rice and trifle? Paella. As long as paella. Paella, paella. Rice. paella I don't know rice. what paella rice is. It, it, it's like seafood, a mixture of spices. Uh, yeah. Almost like savory rice vibes, but yes, with but meat. With, with uh, fish. Oh. Paella. Girl, People, you need yeah. to make that for me, girl. One day. <laughs> um, as long as my kids gonna enjoy themselves, that's beautiful. And the Ant Swat says, I am making gammon and lamb and roasted potatoes and veg. Those sound delicious, okay? Making us so hungry already. <laughs> but remember to keep those uh, comments coming. Give us more inspiration of what you're gonna be having on your Christmas table this year. Mmm, Zanzi, you are making me hungry. Those look delicious. Now, of course, while the festive season is still all about family, fun, and all those delicious meals, it can also be a little bit stressful, especially if you're a last-minute kind of person. So there's lots of Christmas shopping to do, and there's lots of work that needs to be done around the house. And uh, before the family arrives, there's just yeah, like stress people coming mode. on that. Well, I mean, you know, things might be slowing down, but life doesn't stop. Yeah. And sometimes you still need a shoulder to lean on. How many people will you be spending Christmas with? Are you going to have a, I suppose, most of us have toned it down a little yeah. bit. What, what are you going to be doing for Christmas, dude? It's normally, literally, because I'm like old school G, culturally we have just so many family members and we are so used to these big, like, hundred people attending wow. at Christmas. So it's just been absolute disarray. We don't know what to do. Oh, so everybody's just chilling out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just go pop in at the parents for like a small little, uh, just obviously share some love, but kind of just really isolating. So it's going to be a weird and different Christmas. Eh? And yourself? You're not alone, man. Yeah, we've got, luckily, Lindsay's folks have come out from, from the UK, so we've got oh, an opportunity nice. to connect with family that we haven't seen for over a year. Yeah. Um, they met our daughter for the first time, so for us, that's what it's all about. It's just connecting with family, having yeah. those magical moments. Uh, but of course, life does still continue and happen, and sometimes <laughs> You need to rely on someone um, and a game changer this season undoubtedly is the new super app called Avo. You can literally shop groceries on there, you can order food, you can shop tech, they've got great deals. Homeware, babywear and you can even dial in a handyman service. No, are you serious? No, the services Dude, are amazing. I yeah. had an issue with a handyman that I needed for Christmas Day. I got locked out really? of the house, man, and I was in, you need to show me what's going on here. I might need this in my last minute stress modes now as it comes oh, to uh, I've locked Christmas, myself. obviously. I've locked myself out of my, my Avo app. So you, you're um, locking me out, yeah? <laughs> no, I mean, it, it does use uh, fingerprint authentication, and I'm using one of our, our team's phones here. But it's, it's unbelievable. Like handyman services, alarm services, anything that you could possibly think of, they've got great deals. And the nice thing is they've done the background checks. They've obviously done the validations to make sure that these guys are safe and okay, secure. Okay, awesome. So I can um, trust them. Yeah, so you yeah. get the best service possible. And, um, of course, everything is there and accountable on the app. They've done all the hard yards 
for you, which is fantastic. Um, and it means you can literally do anything. So in these last two days before Christmas, you can put it to the test. So if you need any last minute shopping, if you want to avoid the stores, which I think a lot of people are, then download yeah. the Avo app. Plus, if you need plumbing, a locksmith, or even just gas delivered to your house, you don't know, you can do all of that via the app too. It really is amazing. So download it from your app store um, or the Money app if you're a Ned Bank client, which is another amazing app, also yeah. a bit of a game changer. Um, and you sure. sort of man. There like goes Santa's, my stress, man. I'm not even worried now. I'm lost, but it's going to be easy. <laughs> Here's to you, can't work from home workers. Bo Terminator, cause every meeting key, I'll be back. The mask for getting shoppers. Hi. And you, who go the extra mile instead of keeping just 1.5 meters. To you who opened your doors again, we take our hats off. Nina, who kept us moving, 100%. And of course, there are no my in general dealers. You might not be essential workers, but you too played an essential role in keeping him Zansi working. And that's why we're giving you a chance to win your share of 5 million rand. Join Nedbank today. Welcome back. You are live with Expresso. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. Now, time to have a little bit of fun. The multiple award winning um, Chief Creative Officer of Joe Public United, Pepe Marais, has released another must read hot on the trails of his very successful Growing Greatness debut business book slash autobiography. Now, he continues to urge others, particularly the younger generation, to seek growth through changing their habits. We caught up with Pepe at the exclusive launch of 20 Habits That Break Habits book. Take a look. The multiple award winning Chief Creative Officer of Joe Public United, Pepe Murray, has just released another hot must read. It's hot on the trails of his successful debut, Growing Greatness. In this book, he encourages others, particularly the younger generation, to seek growth through their changed behavior. Tonight, we have the exclusive launch of Pepe's 20 Habits That Break Habits. I don't even know where to start because I feel like I know you, I know oh my M, I know Heidi, I know Jasper just reading the book. But let me start off by saying congratulations on a second book. Do you ever feel like and look back and think that you were going to be an author? Never. So even the first book was completely by chance. I was approached by a publisher. Um, who asked me to write my first book, so I had, no, I had no dreams at that stage of writing a book, and the book did very well. And then the second book was an idea I had in 2019, out of the blue, so I went and put pen to paper, and now my second book's on the table. Let's talk about the packaging of the book. Is the idea that you take the book out of the box, and does that really motivate you to think outside of the box? No, I wish I thought of it, <laughs> but not at all. So I drew down the front page. The front page looked exactly like the cover of the box. I sent it to my to my publisher, and I think 
Within two weeks, the Tobacco Wars came out as a book, which had cigarettes on the front cover, and I felt, OK, now that idea's been done. And I then decided to rather build a franchise of growing greatness. My design team at Joe Public Shift actually said, no, no, but then we, we turn the front cover into a box and we'll put it inside the box. But I think I'm going to start saying that it's so you think out of the box. Well, I'm definitely going to send you my invoice. You definitely share a lot about your life and your story in the book, but you also speak about 20 smokers. Why particularly single out smokers? It was all part of the idea. So I used to smoke for 18 years, and I suppose that's also why I don't go good and bad habits, because I loved smoking. So I didn't want to go and judge smoking and go, that's a bad habit, I'm giving you a good habit. And it was just a limiting habit to me in my life. But the idea was to interview 20 smokers, because there's 20 cigarettes in a pack of 20s, and then to actually ask them about their limitations habits and during the interview I timed their smoking speed and I then timed their reading speed and I worked out how many words I would have to write for each smoker when they read their chapter it technically should take the time of one cigarette so that was the idea of the book and then the interesting thing was none of the smokers actually thought that smoking was limiting they all had other limiting habits I like that I like the fact that you use the terms limiting and liberating as opposed to good and bad why that positive approach and wording and I suppose the same thing because we very easy to judge so we go good and bad and I found in my experience anything that I judge as bad often is the starting point of something really good so I don't I didn't want to judge habits and I didn't want to judge people but, I, but I'm, I'm very aware that some of my own habits limited my life, limited my potential and the new habits that I started introducing into my life really liberated my life. I had this idea to write a second book and I thought, oh, yeah, like, I don't want to have as heavy as the first one, completely freaked my mother out the first book because <laughs> all the dirty yes. washing was out there, <laughs> sisters, <laughs> made up all like, oh, you know, but who hasn't read it yet? <laughs> I love reading, but I, when I saw my name, I stopped. Heidi, you got quite emotional when you did the opening for Pepe. Tell me why that is. Probably because I operate from my heart, and I know that Pepe operates from his heart, and we've been together for such a long time. We've been through so many ups and downs, and we've got such a deep connection, and I know how important it is for him to be modest and not come from a place of being better or successful. He really works from his heart. So I connect with that and I just can't help being emotional. <laughs> he of course dedicated this book to you because he said that you finding your purpose has helped him find his purpose. Do you take any credit for that at all? Not at all. We're on a journey together. Started when we were 16 and every moment, every up, every down, every smile, every frown, it's part of the journey and he supports me where I need to be supported and I support him where he needs to be supported. Maybe in closing, if there's one thing you want readers to take away from the book, what would that be? I wrote it much more light-hearted than the first one. And, and just try and find that little gem that might just shift your life. Because, because habits, of, they're profound. Your success in life depends on them. But by no means try and apply all 20 of them. Find one that you think is relevant, that resonates, even if it is um, to start using I language rather than you language, which is quite an interesting one. But yeah, just if there's one little thing I hope someone, if it can shift anyone, then I'd be very, I'd be very grateful. Of course, I'm not going to leave without asking you to sign my book. Is that okay? If you're looking to do better and think better, then this one is for you. After my enlightening conversation with one of the advertising greats, I'm definitely motivated to discover my own inner greatness.
Uh, still get goosebumps thinking That's about cool, it. Man. He's, of course, a husband, a father, entrepreneur, author, public speaker, purpose advocate, humanitarian, and closet Afrikaans rocker. <laughs> Pepe Murray has an overarching vision to affect positive change throughout the course of his life, and he's written two books towards this goal. And he now jo joins us this morning via video call to share his advice on going into the new year with positive habits in mind. Good morning, Pepe Murray. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, thank you very much. Um, sitting on holiday here at the Vaal River, so my happy place. <laughs> ah, tough life, buddy, tough life. Um, Pepe, congratulations. The, the book, um, I think, comes at a really important time for South Africa, but it looks amazing. It sounds amazing. Great to get a little bit of a, an inside view into what it means to you and your family. So nothing but the best and success with the book itself. Um, but it covers some amazing perspectives in there, and I love the angle that you've taken. And maybe we can use it right now as we move into a new year with all of our New Year's resolutions. It's one thing having those resolutions. It's another thing actually actioning them. How do we take this big step? How do we action what we want to achieve? Yeah, I suppose great question because I, I've realized taking action is our Achilles heel as, as human beings. So, so knowledge is nothing if we don't act on it. Um, it's, it's, it's not easy, but I, I suppose I, I always say start small. Start with something really simple and easy and then just practice it every single day. And over time, it's, it's, it's incredible how powerful it can become. Mm. It becomes a habit. Absolutely. And maybe then what kind of resolutions should we be having to lead a healthier and more positive life? Or maybe in your words, liberating life? Mm. So, you know, it's fascinating. And, and this is not something I've believed um, just because maybe I'm financially successful. It happened before that. There's eight forms of wealth. I've learned this on a workshop in Toronto years ago. And, and it starts actually with your spiritual health and your, and your physical health. Those are your two most important wealths in life. So I would say any habit that supports your mindset and that supports your health, for me, would be the most important to start the new year with. Um, that, that creates the, the platform, and it's amazing that your brain works better when you are healthy and exercising. These, we know that this is a knock-on effect. This has been a crazy year for all of us on so many different levels. Should our goals be changing after our life during COVID-19 or, or should we be applying the same rules mm. as before? How much has this year changed the way that you see things and are going to be acting in your own life? I think the world has fundamentally changed. Um, it's going to, time's going to tell how many people will change. You know, it's very difficult for people to change. Even when we're forced, uh, we fall back into our old habits. Um, this world is fundamental. I mean, look at us now. We're having a, a television live interview while I'm sitting on the Val River. So, so everything has changed. A big, big theme for me this year is to focus on what I can control. I wrote a chapter on that. We tend to get very excited and emotional about things we can't control at all. So a big theme for me will be setting my goals on things that I really can control. Um, because I think when, when, you, when you set your mind to something you can't control and you fail, it actually builds, it, it builds this sort of habit of, I can't do this. So, so my big theme is focus on what you can control. And most importantly, even in this challenging time, try and make the most of every day. There's miracles all around us. I'm looking out at nature at the moment. Just, just look, look for the beautiful things in life and, and make sure they override those negative things. And I'm going to quote you here, it's time to step up instead of step out. But just uh -huh. maybe to say again, how important are our daily habits to the, you know, the trajectory of our lives? They're fundamental. In my experience, we don't even realize how deep they are. They learn from, from childbirth, I mean, for, from the day we're born. So those early seven years forms our adult habits, and they're very, very deep. But when we become aware of them, that's almost the first step. I mean, I became conscious of not speaking positively to myself, and I changed that. It took a few years to really put it into my mind. You will never hear me say a negative word about myself. And that took years to change as a habit because it was so deep within me.
Pepe, I've got to say, you've just become my spirit animal, my friend. Um, thank you so much for sharing this, what I would imagine is a deeply personal and introspective journey with the rest of the world. I think South Africa needs to hear this right now. We've certainly needed to hear this, and I can see just that, that one meeting that Jamie's had with you has really made its mark. So thank you so much for bringing your influence to our show. And again, good luck with the book, and have the most phenomenal time at the Val. <laughs> thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff, Pepe Maria sharing. Um, it, it does feel emotional. I feel quite emotional Definitely, about yeah. this. Um, and in a world where there, there is a lot of advice in this space, this feels really authentic. It's something that we can grasp. And I like the idea of changing those habits on a daily basis. Something small, just like being better to yourself. Start, start being more positive just with yourself as a starting point. Thank you, team. It's now that time of the morning for us to quickly look at the national headlines. Late registrations are now open for Gauteng Public Schools for Grade 1 and Grade 8 for those who have not yet secured a space for 2021. Gauteng Education spokesperson Steve Mabona says the system will close on 22 January. He said the department had so far placed just over 95% of Grade 1 and 8 pupils for the 2021 academic year. Walk-in centres will open on the 18th of January next year. And the DA's challenge to the national government's decision to close the beaches in the Garden Route district for the entirety of the festive season failed in the Western Cape High Court yesterday. But the court ruled that the public may access beaches in the rest of the Western Cape for extended hours. The public can now visit beaches from 6 in the morning until 7 in the evening. The original times were 9 o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. that evening. We now move to news beyond our own borders where the coronavirus has reached the Antarctic continent, which had so far been free of COVID-19. The Chilean army has reported 36 cases on its Bernardo O'Higgins research station on the Antarctic Peninsula. The 36 of 25 of whom are military personnel and 10 maintenance workers have been evacuated to Chile. The news comes just days after Chile's Navy confirmed three cases on a ship which had taken supplies and personnel to the research station. The news means that COVID cases have now been recorded on all seven continents. And an Israeli aircraft yesterday made the first direct commercial flight between Israel and Morocco. This follows the two countries' recent agreement to upgrade their diplomatic relationship. The plane was emblazoned with the word peace in Arabic, Hebrew and English. It carried a high-level Israeli delegation that will have further talks on the details of the diplomatic accord. The deal was brokered by Washington and US President Donald Trump's son-in-law and Middle East envoy Jared Kushner accompanied the Israelis. And next, St. Peter's Square is lit up by the traditional Christmas tree. St. Peter's Square in Rome was aglow this week as a host of onlookers beheld the lighting of this year's Christmas tree, observing all the now normal health measures. The tree, a 30-meter tall, 7-ton Norway spruce, will be in St. Peter's Square until the 10th of January for the benefit of the few able to travel to the Eternal City. This year's nativity scene also caught the eye of its ceramic statues of the Holy Family cast in larger than life size. Come Friday, Pope Francis will deliver his Christmas message from the Vatican instead of from the central balcony in St. Peter's Square. Due to stricter restrictions in Italy due to COVID-19, the usual gatherings of believers will also not be able to take place on the square this year, but those who wish can tune in to the 24-hour live feed of Vatican media on YouTube. As some consolation with regards to the subdued festivities, Pope Francis has said, and I quote, icons of Christmas are now more than ever a sign of hope. No pandemic can turn off the light of Christmas. Well, on that light note, that's where I leave your morning headlines. Let's take another look at your sport.
Thanks so much, Zoe. And it seems the pandemic will not claim our Boxing Day cricket either, thanks in part to the legwork done by the Proteus team. Their test squad will start training today after it was confirmed that 17 players have tested negative for COVID-19 after their third round of testing. South Africa will face Sri Lanka in two test matches starting this Saturday. That's the 26th of December, Boxing Day. Fast bowler Buren Hendricks and batsman Keegan Peterson were missing from the original group of 19 players, unfortunately. On to last night. Uh, thrilling footballing action in the Carabao Cup. It continued last night with Manchester City thrashing Arsenal 4-1 at the Emirates Stadium to advance to the tournament semi-finals. Gabriel Jesus opening the scoring for City in the third minute and then Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden and Emmerich Laporte added their three goals in the second half to confirm the win for the visitors. Now, other results, uh, Brainford, who are looking to gain a place, of course, in the Premier League next season. They stunned Newcastle United 1-0 to advance to the semi-finals as well. There'll be two league League Cup fixtures this evening as Stoke City face Tottenham Hotspur. That's at 7.30. And then the later game at 10 p.m. Everton take on Manchester United. Two thrilling games to look forward to. Now the bull has come in, it seems. The 2021 Tokyo Olympics, scheduled to take place from the 23rd of July to the 8th of August next year, is going to cost a whopping $15.9 billion, with $900 million being spent on measures to stop the spread of the coronavirus. The organizing committee confirmed that the official cost of the postponement and Tokyo Olympic Games has increased by at least 22% after unveiling their new budget. You can ponder that as we take a look at some of your beautiful sunrise pictures. Thank you. And we've asked you to send them through and you certainly delivered. Let's take a quick look at where some of you woke up this morning. I've got a, uh, a picture from Njabula in, in Innocentia who posted this cloudy skies picture from Johannesburg. The gold, the city of gold can expect, um, you know, some warm temperatures today. Also got one from Suzette Kuhn who sent through these gray skies from Jeffreys Bay. Suzette, you can expect a humid and breezy day with a maximum of 24 degrees. Well, if you would love to contribute to our beautiful sunrise photos in the mornings, feel free to share with us on the Expresso Facebook page. Well, the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries recently released the official report of the National Plan of Action for the Conservation and Management of Sharks in South Africa. This as South Africa's great white shark population has been the subject of international scrutiny uh, since 2017 when sharks Shark spotters and cage diving operators reported a sudden sharp decline in sightings around False Bay and Hans Bay. From 2010 to 2016, white sharks were sighted in False Bay an average of 205 times each year. In the year 2018, just 50 times, and in 2019, nothing. In January of this year, the first white, uh, great white shark in 20 month was spotted in False Bay. It's not sure what explains the sudden disappearance of the country's iconic white sharks from False Bay and Hans Bay, but most great white shark scientists point to the presence of orcas in the area, two in particular called Port and Starboard, since a few years ago. One theory is that the shark-eating orcas are part of a different ecotype drawn to coastal waters from deeper pelagic uh, Pelagic, uh, sorry, apologies about that. Some pelagic waters for a variety of reasons, including changing water temperatures due to climate change and overfishing. Be sure to watch Dr. Jennifer Olbers, a scientist at Wild Trust, when she joins us a little later to tell more about this report as well as what is being done to save our sharks. Well, on that note, let's take a look at your temperatures for today. If you are in Polokwane, your low is 20, your high is 30. If you're in Mbombela, 22, reaching a high of 34. Thunder showers can be expected in Pretoria today, a low of 16, a high of 27. Johannesburg, 14, reaching a high of 26.
Partly cloudy conditions with thunder showers on the cars. Mahi King 16 with a high of 31. Clagsdorp 15 reaching a high of 30. It's partly cloudy in Kimberley with a high of 31. Partly cloudy conditions in Bloemfontein, a low of 11, a high of 28. Richards Bay 21 reaching a high of 28. Some wet conditions in Peter Maritzburg, a low of 9, 17, a high of 29. It's partly cloudy in Durban today with a high of 28. Mtata 15 reaching a high of 30. East London 19 with a high of 26. It's partly cloudy in Craddock today, a low of 13, a high of 33. Rainy conditions for Port Elizabeth, a low of 18, a high of 25. George, your low is 16 and your high 23. It's partly cloudy in Cape Town, 17 reaching a high of 21. Worcester 14 reaching a high of 29. If you're in Sutherland, 19 is your low 25 your high and Uppington partly cloudy with a low of 15 and a high of 15 degrees Celsius. Well that's where we leave your weather for now. If you have a beautiful sunrise photo that you'd love to share with us remember you can do so on the Expresso Facebook page. Yeah, we're still locked in. We're live, of course, and we are with South African R&B and pop sensation Cohen. Now, Cohen is standing by for another incredible performance on our Feel Good Breakfast show. And this one's from his 2019 Touch Is Love EP and the song Better Man, which demonstrates Cohen's unbelievable grasp of melody and lyrical depth beyond his years. Well, without further ado, here's Cohen with his popular song Better Man. Woo!
welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso on SABC3. We are talking movies with JP Sebastian, the ones releasing in the new year. In fact, on the 1st of January. Mm. JP Sebastian. Can you believe it? I know. I'm quite excited. So we're going to go to like a classic, uh, 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 Charles Dickens classic novel. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So the first one we're reviewing is The Personal History of David Copperfield. Not in fact A Christmas Carol, which is what everyone probably would have thought. But mm -hmm. uh, The Personal History of David Copperfield is was to him, to Charles Dickens, his favorite book. And he's, he, what he referred to as his favorite child. You know, he, apparently every parent has a favorite child, mom, dad, um, I'd like to know. They will never <laughs> admit it. The parents will never admit it, but you, you, you pick it up. Um, so maybe this, this, this deals with some of that as well, uh, is that the story is very much an observation of life around uh, this character, David Copperfield, who is not in fact a silk donning magician, as we might have thought. Uh, Dev Patel at the front. Dev Patel can do whatever he likes at this point. I'm super excited about the green night coming out next year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it looks good, but <laughs> this looks so good as well. Uh, most importantly of all, I think, is directed and written by Armando Iannucci. Armando Iannucci, do you know Veep? with Julia Louis-Dreyfus, the TV show. No. Zoe, you would snort laugh. And, and I know you do. We're reeling this on South African TV. She does. Uh, and you would, like, drastically at that show. It's one of the funniest ever. Armando Iannucci is so good at satire, is so, so good at parody of, well, in these shows that he usually does political systems and whatever. So he's the perfect pair for Charles Dickens, who was a satirist. And this guy who wants to cast an eye on society. However, hey, Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton's one of my favorite human beings as well. We are so blessed to have a you, Laurie House. Of course, you know, I you love Laurie. House. I loved yeah. it. He is hilarious. Uh, yeah, he is very good and uh, appears in this too. David Copperfield is a coming of age story, um, uh, what they refer to in literature as a Bildungsroman, which is the story of a man's journey, uh, usually a man. And in this case, it's from his birth all the way up to his mature age, at which point he's a writer and retelling the story from his perspective. He narrates the thing throughout. And it's the ups and downs of life. It's him starting in dire, dire poverty. And this is great about Charles Dickens. Like every modern movie is like, JP wanted to be a writer, but he had writer's block. It's like, Charles Dickens is like, JP wanted to be a writer and lived in driving poverty in industrial England. You know what? It, it's that started from the bottom, now I'm here storyline because a lot of people can relate to it. It's, uh, it's, perhaps, it's, yeah. it's your journey and it's just, it's one of those where you can't allow your circumstances to dictate where you're going to go. I think Dickens as a, as a Marxist would think otherwise. <laughs> but no, I mean, that you take from it what you will is partly yes. the point as well. Uh, and so he finds his life from poverty into uh, luxury and then back down into d difficulty again. And so as well as being this sort of almost an autobiography of himself, Charles Dickens, and as well as an autobiography of uh, David Copperfield, it's also a a glance on society as a whole and, and how people try to fake it till they make it, which is horse people. I think it will definitely encourage people to go read the novel to yeah. before seeing it. And let's it's got to be on. hilarious too. Yes, let's move on to the next. Jude Law. Where's he been? Uh, he's, he's been MIA. Uh, which, which is probably a good thing. I suppose he was in Captain Marvel. I was just about to say, he escaped the news of these superhero movies, but apparently not. Everyone has to do one. I'm, I'm up for one probably at some point too. You probably have to play a superhero at some point. I saw critics are saying Jude Law at his best. Uh, yeah, which uh, I've not seen it myself, but I, 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 I do love the dude and I wish that we could see him more often. I suppose every South African watched Contagion recently where mm -hmm. he was the creep who was spreading the lies about that virus. Uh, and so, yeah, maybe good lessons from Jude Law yeah. there, but not good lessons here. The Nest is one of these stories about deceits and deceptions between husband and wife. He constantly tries to reassure her everything's okay with the bank. However, uh, he uh, the whisks him away to England and takes him to another life and another career opportunity, apparently. Okay. She starts noticing, wait, the bank's looking a bit dry. Husband, what are you doing while you're telling me to build a horse farm to live my dream, inverted commas, and you're dragging us down slowly. So again, the story about fake it till you make it, probably pretty similar to David Copperfield and the stupidness that people do to each other. Why do people communicate in relationships? Maybe we'll learn from the nest. I'm not a married man. I'll probably figure out just how hard it is to tell your wife the truth when stuff is going sideways. I think it also keep... comes down to an ego, you know, the man's the protector, the provider in some relationships. Rubbish, and, it's and... the 21st century. I know. Hopefully the nest breaks that lie too. Well, this movie's not played out in our time, so so that's that's the forgiveness. The last movie, Dreamland. Dreamland is uh, the lady who you were super excited to talk about, Margot Robbie. Margot Rob Robbie, she's in it. Uh, anything that like tickles your fancy or just generally you love Margot Robbie? I, Tonya, you saw the one where she I was I saw it, skater. loved it, and I, I you mentioned it, but... 
she's one of those versatile actresses. Oh, yeah. She can play any role from being glammed up and all pretty and Wolf of Wall Street to I, Tonya, and now in Dreamland also taking on a little bit more of Birds a... Birds of Prey, uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, interesting She's role. next also going to be doing something very interesting, a remake of Tank Girl. People from the 90s might remember that. It's a bit of a Mad Max, but a female lead. Should be super exciting having her in there. However, uh, Dreamland is probably a similar sort of story in a way. It is uh, America during the Great Depression when all of them were told, go west, live your dream, fake it till you make it actually. Again, all these movies have that theme in common. And uh, then the Dust Bowl happened and farmers had to like scrounge for cash and desperately try and live off a totally drought ridden land. Uh, Margot Robbie is a bank robber on the run. And mm. she has murdered, sent to heaven five people, is what one person says in the trailer at some point. Comes across this looks amazing when she does it. Who is uh, torn between turning her in for the bounty or this new burgeoning love that he has for this outlaw. So Bonnie and Clyde, Thelma and Louise, uh, et cetera, et cetera. These outlaws on the run type uh, stories trying to live their dream, but love tears them apart and also the law. People love these kinds of things. It's an adventure. Queen and Simley recently, I suppose, as well. The Jay-Z song. There we can't get enough of this. Well, JP, Dreamland. thank you for joining us. The movie was will be hitting theaters on the 1st of January. And I forgot to mention that The Nest is actually coming out on the 24th of December. So if you are looking at movie options for the festive season, now you have them. Mask, sanitize, social distancing, please. Oh man, so many incredible movies to look out for, but now we're back in the kitchen with our favorite chef, Chef Clem, to make something really special. Happy little moments are created with your family and the best ones are in the kitchen making festive sweet treats. Today we have something special lined up because Chef Clem is in the kitchen with someone special who's gonna join us shortly mm. and they're going to be making a gorgeous gingerbread house. But first, let's welcome we're gonna welcome her. Okay. Slightly. Yeah. Someone special. Should we tell them now, or should we just wait when the time comes? It's a oh, no. pleasant surprise. They're saying that she me. must just, she must hang back for a second. <laughs> I don't know why, but, but it's fine. But in any case, oh, it's Chef Clem's sister, guys. Did you just say it? Okay. Yes, I did. It's my baby sister. Oh, oh. she's the best. She is. She's honestly just the coolest person. I'm she this close is. to saying she's cooler than you. Okay. I would. I would. I'd we believe need to you. give her a warm espresso welcome. Okay. Everybody, please welcome Chef Clem's sister, Gemma. Pedro! Oh. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Are you feeling a little nervous? <laughs> a little bit. It's fine. It's okay. We've got this. <laughs> Take your little sister to work day. Take a and she's such an amazing cook. Like, I swear. It? She gets that from me. I don't know. Oh. She sings really well as well, but she doesn't get that I from do. me. <laughs> but she cooks so well. So I thought, let me bring her in today. Yeah. Because this is a family activity. So we're going to be baking our own little gingerbread house. And it's from the Woolies gingerbread kits. Mm. So this year, you've seen us, especially over lockdown. Oh, you see us. there's an entire kit? There's an entire <laughs> kit. It's right over there. You can see it. So it comes with mm. the ingredients you need to actually bake your gingerbread okay. it comes with ingredients that you need to make your icing and then it comes with all the decorations you need to decorate so, wow I mean it's amazing so Christmas Eve is a time when the kids are normally like they see their, their presents and they're like I want yeah. it I want it can I open it can I open it yeah True. Yeah. <laughs> True. This is what you should do, though. Give them something like this to do. And yeah. I think it's so amazing because you, everybody can get involved. Mm. So I'm going to actually swap. Jim, you can come yes. step with Cookley. Gemma, are you, are you okay? You're a great cook in the kitchen, yes. but are you good when it comes to desserts and stuff like this? Yes. Okay, yes. I'll, I'm going to learn a thing or two from you this morning. Yeah, okay? she's, she's got this. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to put together the the dough for the actual gingerbread. And what I love about gingerbread dough is that you can make it and it lasts in the freezer for, okay. like, honestly, mm. like a year. No. Yeah, no. you really, really, really can. So it lives in the freezer and it just does its thing and then next year you take it out and you, and you roll it out and you shape it and you bake. Amazing. So I'm gonna give, I've got two piping bags here for my mm. two takalanis. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> and the first thing I said when Je uh, Gemma walked into the studio, I was like, thank goodness I'm not the Dagalani in the studio anymore. I had to though. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do while uh -huh. I'm busy baking the, making this, this dough, aside. I'm gonna ask, you guys can work, we've all sanitized, mm -hmm. we've done everything. Yes, yes, yes. So, quickly, you got your piping bag and you can work on the one side of the house. Okay. But what I, what I actually want is don't look at each other's sides. Okay. Okay? Okay. And let's just see. <laughs> we're not home, okay? We're not home. I want to see who can do the best. Okay. And you, so what I've got for you, I've got the little the soft-scented sprinkles. Uh -huh. These are very important because when you get sprinkles, 
back in the day, those things used to like break fillings. Yes. Yeah. And now there's yes. a soft center. There's a soup. Like it, it just melts in your mouth. Mm. And you want that. All the decorations that you got, everything had to have the speckled eggs. Had to have the speckled eggs. Okay, wait, so, Gengo. Do we have creative control over what we? I put? want you to channel your inner winner home. <gasps> winner home, and you just Ooh. go for it. Okay. Okay. Jimmy, cool. you too. So here you go. Here's your piping bags, and you go Thank go you. crazy. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get started. So what I've got here is I've got some melted butter. Uh-huh. And then where am I? Where am I? I've got some melted butter. And what I want to do is I want to add some of my... Oh, oh, by the way, all the ingredients are already weighed out for you. Everything is done. So you don't need to measure out anything. All you need is a big mixing bowl. Mm. They even give you the piping bag that you need to actually do your piping, which is really amazing. And I... By piping, you mean this thing? That thing that's okay. in your hand, yeah. So, okay, in here I've got the... This is the royal icing mix. I'm actually gonna keep this aside. Like again, like I said, the icing, everything's given there. And don't worry, all the instructions are there as well. You know what, Chef Kim? Really I really want to engage with you right now. No, you go. But you I go. I want to engage with please, the nation. You do your thing. Please chat to Chef Kim on social media, guys. Tell him your gingerbread story. Please, Tell him yeah. your favorite desserts. Absolutely. So, okay, so the sugar went in with the, with the butter. And what I did do is I would actually melt that sugar, kind of make a caramel. And that's where the flavor of the gingerbread comes from. Mm. It's very caramel like. I like how you say, mm. you don't even hear what I said. <laughs> You no, just, I heard mm. I heard flavor of the gingerbread and caramel, and then I put those two things together in my Okay, head. okay, I'll give it to you. So these are the decorations I spoke about, and those go with the royal icing for your decoration. So all the, if, even this flour mix that I've added to the bowl, it looks like normal flour, but if you smell it, you can smell the ginger that's in there already. So you don't need to add anything else. It's all in there already. My sugar's looking good with my butter. What I'm going to do now... My what you want to do is you kind of want to cook your brown sugar until it really melts. I'm not even, this is happening. I don't want to look yet. I want to see what's happening at the end. Graham is walking by and Graham's shaking his head a little bit. So I'm going to be very excited to see what it looks like. Then we're going to add some golden syrup and golden syrup again. You can't make gingerbread without adding golden syrup to it. No, you can't. You can't, you can't. You can't. Okay, so just to save time, I'm going to do a good mixy mix. And then what you're going to end up with is a beautiful dough like this. And like I said, at this stage, you could put this in some plastic wrap and keep it in the freezer for like a year. And I'm not even joking. For me, that's just the wildest thing, actually, you know? Uh -huh. You want to talk about the wildest thing? Mm. I just saw one side of the house. <laughs> wow. Can you, tell me, can you tell me what's that side of the house? Just secretively. Just no, 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 no. I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Okay. I won't say anything. Okay. So that's our beautiful dough. Then what Willies have done is they give you the stencils and everything that you need to actually build your house. <laughs> so what I would do is I would actually keep these and every year just use the stencil again and you know just make. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay. So what we've done is this is the gingerbread house that we've built, but it also comes with a beautiful Christmas tree which Kelly and Aniba have decorated. And I yes. things like this just make me melt, honestly. It's so, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so honestly. beautiful. But Wait, Chef Game, so we're not limited to making a house. We can make a tree, we can because make a man. This this is the actual box for the gingerbread house. Oh. But okay. what you do get is you get the what the kits that make specifically the tree mm -hmm. as well. So you can kind of play around with it. And what I like this season, Willies have really come out with all the kits. The bread making kits, the cheese making kits which we're going to use next year i've oh. like, got an amazing recipe coming out next year all their kits and they pull apart breads i like that like the fact that we've all been at home this year willies have come through and they're giving us the kits they're like help us be better cooks but yeah. now i feel like the fact that cookler is laughing like this there's something going on okay can i give you guys like 30 more seconds while Just i talk 30 seconds please because i'm seeing that Gemma has some silver things decorate and i feel like i also need some silver things okay and okay I'm you do something with the stars so what I, my tips for this one is what i, I would definitely with the kids just put the mixture together because there's nothing really hot you can do that together as a family mm. and then this is a two-man job when you build this house i honestly believe you do need someone to hold the walls together for you yes what i like about this kit it doesn't have the side walls which mm. are always the problem because Why? this one's got the, 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 two, the two big walls yes. and then the, and the front and the back. Uh. When you have the mini side walls, you really need to like be very careful because like there's so much that can just fall, collapse, break. This like right a... now. Oh no. I'm trying to put my things together and they just fall apart. Okay, South Africa, you haven't seen what's going on yet. Okay, <laughs> you got 10 seconds left. Quickly, is there anything you want to do? You got 10 seconds left. Okay, wait. Okay, okay I'm not even going to interfere. But it's looking, it's looking interesting. Okay. And that's what I love about this. Ten seconds. No, no, no two gingerbread houses, trees are ever going to look the same. Uh -huh. These are so different. People are laughing in the background. Oh, <laughs> okay, Jim, are you done with this? I sure am. Okay, okay. Kukla, are you done? <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Let's start with... Okay, South Africa, let's start with Kukla's side. <laughs> what is, 
Does it say happy? It says express O. I'm going to come up. I would literally come oh, oh, I see it. I see it. It looks like a... Um, <laughs> uh, JP Sebastian is standing on the on the side. He's shaking his head. It looks like it looks like one of like a, a horror movie scene. Oh. No, we shouldn't say that. We are being oh, joyful. We say that? We've yes. been joyful. We've been joyful. Jesus, I Jesus like the creativity. Joyful. I like the creativity. I do see the espresso. I like it. Mm. I like that you use all the soft jellies. Thank Gemma, you. there was a there was, something happened. Oh. Gemma, I'm not sure if the weather wasn't great. It wasn't outside. great. It wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. So South Africa very quickly because I know they're wrapping this up. Oh, please go to social media. Kukle, let me know what you want. Kukle, win a home. Gemma. Okay? You let me know. This is absolutely fun, South Africa. You have to make this with your family. It's yes, so much yes, fun. Yes. Thank you for being yes. in the kitchen Gemma, with me. You're awesome. Oh super, God. super cool. Thank, Thank you so yeah. much. Chef Clem, you're always awesome to have in the kitchen, Thank man. You. Now it's time to create a happy little moment for one lucky viewer because she has won a 500 Rands Woody's voucher. Congratulations to Sharon Friedland. And we hope that you're going to enjoy the shopping. Do we clap? Do we clap? Do we clap? Yes. <laughs> the season to be joyful. If you want to stand the chance to win a 500 Rands Woody's voucher too, simply visit our competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter page and tell us what are your family's favorite Christmas biscuits. Don't forget get to include the hashtag Woody's Christmas. The competition closes at 9, 9 o'clock right now actually. So hurry up. T's and C's can be found on ExpressoShow.com. South Africa. <laughs> this is your girl. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Right here on SABC3, let's talk about the music because music really has the ability to bring people together and that is exactly what Durban Tourism hope to do responsibly this festive season with the evening of Christmas carols. Yeah, now the Grammy Award-winning Isi Natamiya group Lady Smith Black Mambazo and the KZN Philharmonic Orchestra joined in the spirit of Christmas with incredible performances to celebrate Reconciliation Day and, of course, encourage township tourism. Uh, today we are making history. Today is a reconciliation day and it's part of the build up towards Christmas. That's why we have called this event a Christmas carols event. It is part of our plan to inject growth in local township and rural economies. 
we have developed a festive season management plan. In that plan, it really incorporates the element of managing our public places, uh, like beaches and, and malls, where people will be going there in numbers. But the plan also talks to the township and rural areas, where we'll, we must ensure safety of all citizens and our visitors. Uh, we'll also be looking at how the enforcement of COVID-19 protocols is conducted in the public transport, also in restaurants and other places of leisure. Even when we enjoy ourselves, have your drinks, but stick to your mask and ensure that social distancing. to just welcome everybody to Durban. It's the Rediscover Durban Summer Campaign 20 and we'd like to welcome everybody to Durban as this week we're kicking off the summer and festive season at its peak. As part of our Rediscover Durban Summer Campaign and the festive season, experiencing and exploring different attractions of Durban. Now, while we are on COVID-19 and uh, there's many restrictions, we are saying it's not all doom and gloom. As the city of Durban, we are still saying to our visitors, we are ready as Durban, we are welcoming them to actually explore Durban in many, many different attractions that we actually have because Durban has got more attractions that people can actually explore with families, with friends, as groups, and those spaces are actually fully compliant with the COVID-19 regulations. So right now we are here at Max's Lifestyle, which is in the township, and it's a well-ventilated area it's an open space in the township and it's fully compliant as a restaurant and they have actually converted the way they do business to make sure that they comply with the COVID-19 regulations for the safety of our visitors. We are a city that uh, is, is recognized internationally. You recall that um, how we respond to the issues of climate change, including our beaches and their cleanliness and preserving the environment along uh, our coastal lines. People, when they visit, they recognize that your beach really stick to the standards that are expected internationally. The 25th, the 26th, the, 30th, the 31st, the 1st, 2nd, and the 3rd of January. Those are only days where our beach will be closed. We thank you very much for bringing us to the people because bringing the orchestra, we're performing with the KZN Philharmonic Orchestra. So it's a very wonderful experience uh, performing with the orchestra because we usually perform by ourselves. Now we have a conductor, we have to wait for him to start. So it's a wonderful experience. We are particularly pleased that we are collaborating with the mighty Lady Smith Black Mambazo. And so the whole occasion is fantastic. Uh, Nelson Mandela says, it is music and dancing that makes me to be one with the world. So you can see people are, are, are excited. We are socially distancing, but you can just see that music brings everyone together. Of course, it is a significant day to date, and music is well placed to ensure or to be a vehicle to bring everyone together. Oh, now that has got us into the Christmas spirit. We love derbs. Just go out there, as you saw in that insert, and stay safe. Protect each other. Now, we have a little treat of our own for Christmas. It's like having our very own Disney princess in studio today. We obviously got to meet uh, Chef Clem Pedro's amazing sister, Gemma. And she is so talented. In fact, there's always a question like, who is the more talented sibling? I think we've just found out. She is about to perform something really special for you and I think for us and for Clem. It is Silent Night.
Clem, get in here. Get in here, man. Aww. Gemma, thank you so much, man. She's a talented one, eh? Oh, uh, she oh, really so is, nice. man. That was so, so sweet. How proud are you right oh, now? Oh, so man? proud. I'm holding back the tears, but really, she's so, so talented. I'm so proud of her. Uh, I'm so lovely. And how proud are you of this beautiful man? I am very proud of him. He has come very far, so it's just... I know, very man. Proud. I, I, kind of walked this path with you for a yes, while, my friend. Yeah. Um, we are so proud of, of the Pedros. This morning, we absolutely love you. Some proud parents out there. <laughs> and now half of the nation's children are fast asleep. Um, just loving that lullaby. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3. It's a beautiful start of a brand new day. Now, for the past four weeks, Woolworths has enlightened us with their limited edition collections, each celebrating female fashion in a different way. This week, Noxmouth was here to bring us the final collection of their five weeks of newness campaign. Nox. It's the finale, it's so the you have finale. to end it off with a bang. With a bang, Dave. Take me through this collection. Oh, I don't even want to look. <laughs> This collection is really great. So mm. we've had five weeks of newness, as you've said, Gutlia, which has been a great lead up to summer. Really great ways that we can add brilliant items to our summer wardrobe. Yeah. And this is the final one, which is called A Time to Bloom. And really, it's inspired by the garden party life. Yeah. It's linens, fresh items, twin sets and floral pieces that are so versatile, so cool. Um, I really love this one. I think it's so durable and definitely like yeah. on trend with the kind of like light weight items that you want for summer mm. so it's a time to bloom at Woolworths at it the moment it honestly <laughs> is and even the weather is allowing for us to bloom because it's the summer season of yes. region. you want something lightweight very refreshing yeah also very cute on the eye absolutely I'm gonna ask you um, to take me through your top pick and it's so obvious. It's obvious because <laughs> I'm wearing it. Some of my topics I'm wearing it. So I actually want to stand up for this. Now, what I love is that how comfortable it is, right? The ease of this is, and look, it looks like a, it is a twin set. Yes. But if I really were to like wear it up with the belt, it can mm. look like a one piece, yes. you know? And I think that's what I like, the versatility of it. I can wear this with sneakers. I can mm. wear this with heels. And I mean, there are different variants of it. So here, oh, see. we've got a beautiful striped one, which I know people who are going to be working in the kitchen all, Mm. You know, you want something this Christmas that's lightweight that you yeah. can also just move around with. So there are different versions, but then there's a dazzling, fun and flirty dress to twin set piece. You know the detailing when it comes to woolies, especially when it comes to the bottom part oh. of their dresses or their skirts, they're just immaculate. It's amazing and it's very flirtatious. And like you said, it really plays with the feminine form in a really fun way. Mm. Um, and you can style these up if you're going to a yacht, if you're going to a picnic, yes. if you're gonna be at home. Mm. There's so many ways to do it. And so I really am enjoying the materials, the frill kind of elements that you're getting on your sleeves, mm. the floral prints also, there's also a more floral range so here we've got the solid kind of 
colors, but they're beautiful dresses that have got floral kind of hints. So mm. really a time to bloom in the sense that there are so many prints to play with, yeah. but the twin sets are really something I'm excited about this time. And our favorite Zoe Brown is currently yes. wearing a very, very cute <laughs> Twin set. Twin. Wearing one too. Oh. Just look at oh this. My gosh. Zoe, you look like I need you to be on a, a yacht. yacht. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not own, I need to be on a yacht right now. Yeah. How you do you look. feel in this twin set? This is so cute and I have to say, very flirty. It is mm. fun. It is gonna be such a nice way. I mean, I have a little nephew, yeah. so like I mean, well, like even like, you know, being with family, the young yes. ones, you can still run around in this and play with it, yes. but still be elegant enough for the Christmas table or even wherever you're going to be this festive Absolutely. season. Absolutely. I love the way that you've also accessorized it. Both of you guys, I'm very simplistic, yes. but it's like it comes together and it makes a statement. Exactly. Zoe Brown, thank, thank you so much for joining us. Looking so good. Fabulous. I'll do one your last twirl. gorgeous self. I mean, <laughs> it's the twirl for me. Yeah. It has the, every element of it is just so fun and flirtatious. Uh, so really a great range if you want to wear something fun, but also wear it for the rest of the year. And yeah. these are items that have that bang and that really ability to stay in your wardrobe for a long time. And also just versatile. You can hey. dress it up or you can dress it down. Knox, is this the final time we're seeing you in 2020? I think so, guys. You're not coming tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm not here. It is it is a travesty, but... Tovela. 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 <laughs> It has been so much fun having so you good. join the team this year. You are fantastic. Thank you. You came here and you conquered and you elevated our wardrobe with Woody's. Yay. So have a fantastic Yay. Christmas. Right? Thank you. Oh, Honestly, yeah, just it's the best. It's such a joy. It's such a joy being here with you. I want you to rest also yes. as fabulous as you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'll treat every day like a vacation in easy to wear dresses, twin sets, floral tops and uh, tied skirt sets. Shop Collection 5, a time to bloom at Woolworths now and make sure that you look your best for the sunset sundowners. Shop it at Woolworths, in store, online and or on the Woolies app. <laughs> Oh, and with those beautiful looks, I know just exactly what you need, and that's a beautiful drink to go with it. And just after this, we're going to about to dive into something special. <laughs> Get your 100% goodness with Crush. Scratch and stand the chance to win hundreds of goodness prizes for 100 days with hashtag Crush100. Made with love by Clover. Yep, you heard right. So the celebrations are continuing this festive season with a tasty and refreshing crush cranberry spritz. Yes. <laughs> now, before we start celebrating, we have to announce our daily crush 100% goodness winner who is walking away with a 300 rand loot voucher. Can I get a drum roll, please? Ooh. Our winner is Nelly Siwen Gabashi. Yes! <laughs> Putting our beautiful winner on the crush board right there. She's going to sort us yep. out. There she goes. Beautiful. The getting full. Absolutely. People are just winning. Yay! Yes, I absolutely love it. That thing is almost full, eh? It's, it's almost that? full. Let's full of smiles, full of happy faces. But we're going to make some more happy faces for the rest of you, Mzanzi, of course, because we've got a beautiful spritz that Jamie Lee Domberg yes. has prepared for us. What's happening? I'm very excited for this because it's very refreshing. It's 100%, you know, just that goodness that we all mm. need. It's the end of the year. It's going to give you that kick. So we're going to start off with our hero ingredients over here. We're going to start with cranberry, the cranberry juice. So we're going to take one cup, which is 100 uh, mils, and that's yeah. going to go in over here. So Refreshing, you can add ice to this. I'm a massive Oft cranberry fan, like just for summer, especially. You're not? I am. Oh, you are. Like anything that's cold and has a berry feel to it is like summer for me. I absolutely love it. So, this is already tickling my fancy. What's now, next? Now I know what to get you for, for Christmas. For Christmas. You're going to give me a cranberry. A, a, a cranberry <laughs> juice or something. And so, we're going to put in another 100 ml of orange juice going in okay. over there. Gives you that nice flavor already. Mm. And so, we've got, we've got berry and orange right now. Yes. That's already an interesting mix and I think it's quite cool because it's giving you that like I said that that summer sort of a berry feel and then you got that zest 
zestiness from the orange. The zest of life that we all need is this, for the is this, summer. Is this the zest? Th uh, that no, is no, it. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel you. You're getting me. Santa, slowly. Santa gave you some rhythm for the rest. For the rest of the Okay, so we're gonna throw this into our flute glasses over here. Can you see the the bedazzle as well? I see, so you know, festive so glasses to go with it. And I, I genuinely believe that if you're watching it on the show, of course, we were talking about those beautiful fashion items that we can uh, pair. And I think it will pair so lovely with one of these drinks. How good would that look? A perfect gram shot with your spritz in your hand. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> New glasses. And, and a little bit of this. What's and that little, dance? And yeah. all of that and all of that. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, we so, need to finish this drink here. So what's we're going to put in some sparkling water just to top it off because you see I didn't fill it to the brim. So we're going to put right. that in. Oh, I'm a bit of messy and I'm going to fill it up. That goes in as well. And then something I've learned today is was, we're gonna put a, was that normal water or sparkling water? Oh, so it. some sparkling water. I've got water. friends at home that love sparkling water as much as I do, and always like, what? if I ask, why do you drink sparkling water? I'm like, it's for the burst, bruh. It's for, for the, the burst. The burst of life that you get from sparkling water is not like any other. It's just that. Bah, 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 in your mouth every time. I also feel like the the kitchen team made this especially for you because yep. everything of this is ticking your boxes. It like is. the cranberry juice, yep, we've got the, the, sparkling water, yeah, we've got the sparkling water, and then sage. And then, yes. The, the sage is actually going to be popped in here as well. So I know usually people use sage to like cleans out Cleans their the house, house and the bad sage. spirits. Yes, that's right. So this right. is probably just cleaning out the bad spirits from in it, in us. I like this. So us. You're cleansing all the all the sin and all the bad from this last year, and we're going into the next year fresh. Yes, I love it. And then we're going to end off with a rosemary and we do, what we're going to do is this is going to be the stir so just going to infuse that spritz with it. We're not going to leave it in so obviously just depending on your palate how how many times or how strong you want it is how you will stir it and Voila. Voila. This, this is, is like, that's the coolest mm. spoon I've ever seen. That is something I'm going to take with me, but I'm going to be the proof of the pudding and let you know how this tastes. Mzanzi? You have to smell first and then like, let it. Ah, <sighs> smells like summer. Yay! Ah, Jamie Lee with thank you very much. Of course, guys, not only is it 100% refreshing, but it is also packed with 100% goodness with crush. Mm, these are actually good. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Are you ready to stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes with Crush, such as Nutri Bullets, Veggie Bullets, Tefal Kitchen Appliances, Bar Fridges, Skincare Products, Fitness Products, and Vouchers? 100% you are. 100% goodness winners will be announced daily on Expresso from Monday to Friday from September through December. To enter, buy Crush promo packs. See the back of the label to scratch. And if you find a unique code, dial the USSD number on the pack to stand a chance to win immediate prizes or go into the grand prize draw. If you do not find a unique code, keep buying Crush to find the hidden codes. Crush is 100% fruity, fresh, tasty and refreshing. Made with love by Clover. Oh, you can make my day. It's my feel-good breakfast show. 
Welcome back. As we continue to delve into the Christmas fields, what better way to continue our countdown to Christmas than with another Christmas classic? Musician and an amazing young man, Cohen, will be taking uh, to the floor now to perform a most loved seasonal song, The Christmas Song, a track that is also known as Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Gentlemen, take it away. performance by Kerwin on your feel good breakfast show head on over to our social media and let us know we're going to take a quick look and a final look at your national headlines traffic volumes at Bait Bridge border posts in Limpopo continue to rise as travelers head home for the festive holidays traffic was backed up for 12 kilometers between Musina and the border post yesterday with some travelers being in the queue for over four days Bait Bridge is a gateway to many African countries. A Zimbabwean citizen who had been on a bus since Monday reportedly died after collapsing in the extreme heat. There has been no official explanation for the delay, but some believe it's due to the COVID-19 screening process. And late registrations are now open for Gauteng Public Schools for Grade 1 and Grade 8 for those who are, have not yet secured a space for 2021. Gauteng Education spokesperson Steve Mabona says the system will close on 22 January. He said the department had so far placed just over 95% of grade 1 and grade 8 pupils for the 2021 academic year. Walk-in centres will open on 18 January next year. 
We now move to news abroad. Russia has sent an additional 300 military instructors to the Central African Republic to deal with what his foreign ministry calls a sharp degradation of security. The Kar government, which is threatened by rebel groups ahead of Sunday's presidential election, had asked for help. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Bogdanov empathetically stated that the Russian military was not involved in fighting in the car and that the military instructors were, and I quote, not the army nor the special forces. And the coronavirus has reached the Antarctic continent, which has so far been free of COVID-19. The Chilean army has reported 36 cases at its Bernardo O'Higgins research station on the Antarctic Peninsula. The 36 of 25 whom are military personnel and 10 maintenance workers have been evacuated to Chile. The news comes just days after Chile's Navy confirmed three cases on a ship which had taken supplies and personnel now to the research station. The news comes that the news means rather that COVID cases have now been recorded on all seven continents. And next, news of traffic officers who put a smile on violators' faces. Now, few things beat the wonderful feelings when one receives an unexpected and pleasant surprise. This was the case for some folks of Charleston, West Virginia and the U.S. who had inadvertently broken a traffic rule and slowed down to stop, stiff with fear upon hearing sirens blaring behind them. What transpired next completely stunned them as they were smilingly handed a gift card instead of a traffic ticket. Now these acts of kindness in the festive season boosted their feelings of grateful surprise. They had basically received a holiday reprieve. The Charleston traffic rule breakers feelings were probably best summed up by one person in particular, Jenna McAllister Lilly, who posted on Facebook saying, I ran a red light accidentally, of course, and was as expected pulled over. The officer took my ID and car info and then surprised me by not giving me a ticket but a gift card how wonderful is that well this is truly taking the spirits of christmas to a whole other level on that note that's where we leave your morning headlines let's take a final look at your sport Well, we can be positive about the prospects of cricket on Boxing Day. The Proteus Test Squad will start training today after it was confirmed that 17 players tested negative for COVID-19 after their third round of tests. South Africa will face Sri Lanka in two test matches starting this Saturday, the 26th of December, Boxing Day. Fast bowler Bjorn Hendricks and batsman Keegan Peterson were missing from that original group of 19 players. On to last night's footballing action, Carabao Cup continued last night with Manchester City thrashing Arsenal. 4-1 at the Emirates Stadium to advance to the tournament semi-finals. Gabriel Jesus opened the scoring for City in the third minute. Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden and Emmerich Laporte all added three more goals in that second half to confirm, uh, confirm the win for the visitors. In another shock result, Brentford, they stunned Newcastle United 1-0 to advance to the semi-finals. There'll be two League Cup fixtures to look forward to this evening. Stoke City face Tottenham Hotspur, that's at 7.30. And in the late game, a great one, 10pm, you can see Everton taking on Manchester United. And it seems the bull has come in for the Olympics. The 2021 Tokyo Olympics scheduled to take place from the 23rd to the 8th of, or 23rd of July, rather, to the 8th of August next year, will cost a whopping $15.9 billion, with $900 million being spent on measures to stop the spread of the coronavirus. The organizing committee confirmed that the official cost of the postponed Tokyo Olympics has increased by at least 22% after unveiling that new budget. That's where we leave our sport for this morning. Let's take one last look at some of your beautiful sunrise pictures and get a take on the weather. Well, here's a recap of those sunrise photos we've been receiving, and thank you so much. Fatah Khan posted this beautiful shot of the harbor in Durban. Nick Lombard, our regular photographer, posted this yellow shot of the sun from the Northern Cape. Njabula Innocentia posted this cloudy skies from Johannesburg. And Suzette Kun sent us through the gray skies from Jeffreys Bay. Thank you so much for each and every one. And if you would love to contribute to our Expresso Morning, 
amazing weather report with your beautiful sunrise photos, please share it on the Expresso Facebook page. Now, before we get into your temperatures and bid farewell to the magnificent Christmas star, an absolutely once in a lifetime event, which grabbed the attention of millions of people around the globe, let's have a quick look at what it looked like in South Africa. Unfortunately, the historic view turned out to be somewhat obscured by weather conditions and clouds across many parts of South Africa. Rain and clouds prevented many South Africans from getting a proper look at the rare Great Conjunction. Now, when the solar systems, that's giant solar systems giants, that's Jupiter and Saturn, are close to Earth and to each other. Still, amateur astronomers managed to capture some images of the phenomena on and shared their views on Twitter. In the rest of the world, the Great Conjunction's bright splash in the night sky was captured in stunning images. If you've missed this conjunction and wish to see planets with the same proximity, just higher in the sky, it won't happen again until the year 2080 on the 15th of March. And then not again after that until the year 2400. Very interesting note. Well, that's where we leave that for now. Let's take a final look at your temperatures for today. If you're in Polo Kwane, your low is 20, your high 30. Mbombela 22, reaching a high of 34. Some thunder showers can be expected in Pretoria with a high of 27. And in Johannesburg, a low of 14 with a high of 26. Thunder showers on the cards for Mahi King with a high of 31. Cloudstorp 15, reaching a high of 30. Partly cloudy in Kimberley, 14, reaching a high of 31. Bloemfontein, 11, with a high of 28. Richards Bay, 21, reaching a high of 28. Rain is expected in Peter Maritzburg, with a low of 17, a high of 29. It's partly cloudy in Durban today, with a high of 28. And some rain can be expected in Mtata, with a low of 15, a high of 30. East London, 19, reaching a high of 26. Partly cloudy conditions in Craddock, with a high high of 33. Wet and rainy conditions in Port Elizabeth, 18 with a high of 25. George, your low is 16 and your high 23. If you're in the mother city, Cape Town, your low is 17, your high 21. Worcester, 14, reaching a high of 29. Partly cloudy conditions in Sutherland, 19, reaching a high of 25. And partly cloudy conditions in Uppington, a low of 15 and a high of 30 degrees Celsius. Well, that's where we leave your weather on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. You're still locked into your Feel Good Breakfast show and now the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries recently released the official report on the National Plan of Action for the Conservation and Management of Sharks in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And in May 2020, following public concern about shark populations along the South African coast, the Minister of the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries, Ms. Barbara Creasy, appointed an expert panel to formally review South Africa's plan to save our scary but needed sea creatures. Needed indeed. Now, Dr. Jennifer Albers is here, a scientist at Wild Trust, an environmental organization here in South Africa. And she's joining us to tell us more about this and reporting on what is exactly going on and how we can save our sharks. Doc, how are you doing this morning? Hi, good morning, guys. And good morning to your viewers. What is the current plight of shark populations along our coast? Well, South Africa is a global hotspot for shark and ray diversity, we harbor about 188 species of shark, and that's about a third of the global shark and ray fauna. Um, we have 69 regional endemics, meaning that they only occur here in southern Africa. And in addition, many of our sharks are threatened. So they spend a significant portion of time in South African waters, uh, utilizing these essential habitats as nursery areas, as breeding grounds, and globally, more than 11,000 sharks are killed per hour. Wow. And in South Africa, we have 100 different sharks and rays which are impacted by our fisheries. So we certainly need to manage them properly. Mm. Such a horrible thing to hear. Those numbers are quite yeah. alarming. Now, I've got to ask you, know, what were the key takeaways from Ms. Minister Creasy's report? I mean, I know there was a lot of information there, but just for everyone at home as well watching, what, what did it exactly say? Well, 
Well, um, first, it must be said that the, this national plan was to ensure that we align with international plans or the plan of action of um, conservation and management of sharks. So I think this is quite an important point that South Africa is not working um, in isolation mm. and working um, with international partners. But effectively, there were five key points from the review. The first one was to ensure effective communication and coordination from science to policy. This is an incredibly important step in the process in res resource management because you've got many entities working on a resource and um, whether it be law enforcement or in the science or the management or even in the tourism sector and the feedback and the time lag between observations and science and management um, needs to be rapid and it needs to be transparent and it needs to be with all the entities involved which include government conservation agencies, NGOs, the fishing industry. So it's important that um, effective communication um, is, is brought into, into this, this document. Do you think, Doctor, that this is enough? What do you believe still needs to be done? Well, I think um, the MPOA is um, a very thorough and well thought out plan. It covers all aspects um, of what uh, needs to be done, certainly in the sh short term for sharks and rays. Um, the Department of Environment uh, forestry and fisheries have made great strides in increasing the protection of sharks and rays. And um, resource management is never complete, and there's always room for Im improvement. And once the goals of the 2020 MPOA um, have been achieved, then we reevaluate. But for now, it's important to focus on the tasks at hand. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree with that. Now, the Wild Trust has a project on sharks and rays, which is uh, working towards the objectives and goals of the MPOA, which you just mentioned now. But can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yes, well, first of all, the Wild Trust is a, a non-profit organization with um, two core programs. One, Wild Lins, which is, focuses on the terrestrial conservation and the green economy, whereas the Shark and Ray Protection Project um, falls into the Wild Oceans program of the Wild Trust. This is a collaborative project which uh, is working towards the increased protection of sharks and rays in South Africa. The MPOA is a, a governmental plan, but the Wild Trust, through this project, is working with government to implement and achieve the, the goals. To give support and training for law enforcement officers, uh, we're uh, hoping to produce uh, field guides in collaboration with, with many of our partners. And then, of course, um, there is an advocacy and awareness um, campaign called the Shark Attack Campaign. And this is aimed at highlighting um, that our sharks are under attack. In general, the public perception, sharks are seen as negative. They're seen as scary animals. We're trying to change that. We're hoping to inform the public and ocean users um, about the, the imperiled status of our sharks and uh, what recovery actions are required to highlight the benefits of non-consumptive resource use. Um, for our sharks and rays. Oh, well, Dr. Albers, I can't thank you enough for firstly joining us in the studio, but also raising awareness and I guess protecting these absolutely beautiful and majestic creatures of our ocean and using your expertise to do so. I know that uh, there's someone fighting the good fight for us and I can't thank you enough for that. No, thank you very much and thanks for your time. Ah, pleasure. It's just so wonderful to see the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries coming together with various experts, including the Wild Trust, and stepping up to save our sharks. They need all the help that we can give them.
to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. It's time for us to wish you a happy birthday. Have a hot, hot, happy birthday. Happy birthday, a very happy birthday to you. Oh, yes, when you hear that sound, you know it's about that time of the morning where we wish you, our loved and loyal viewers, a very happy birthday. Please keep those birthday wishes coming. We absolutely love to see them. That's right, and we're going to say a happy birthday to Zara, Tapelo, and Pule. Let's take a look at their wishes from their loved ones. To Zara. Happy birthday to Zara. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Happy birthday, Zara. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tabby. Happy birthday to you. Well, I would like to wish my younger brother, Tabelo Sakati, a happiest and amazing birthday ever. Thank you. My son, as a stepfather to you, happy birthday. And may you enjoy and may you receive all the blessings you need from your stepdad and your mom, Stella Marshall. Thank you for being there for your mommy. And thank you for being there for Junior. We appreciate what you're doing, both of us. Thank you so much, my, my stepson. Oh, happy, happy birthday. We love seeing all of these interesting videos and, of course, these beautiful wishes that come through. But now you're in for a treat because Chef Clem Pedro's sister, Gemma, is here and she's going to sing her own rendition of Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, express of viewers. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hooray! What was that? Gemma, that was stunning. Thank you so, so much. It was actually a very special happy birthday today. Make sure to please send us your 15-second videos on WhatsApp to 071-640-6551 so you can wish your loved ones a happy birthday live on the show. So it was with great sadness that I have to herald the very last culinary hotline bling! Ting, ting, ting! For the year, we want to take your culinary conundrums. Chef Clem, the tome of knowledge of all things culinary, as you had to answer your questions this morning. Give us a shout. 21 555 is the number to dial, and you will ring on this very phone, and who knows, we might be talking to you. Um, but we love the fact that we've got a bit of a festive theme going yeah. on here. you got your favourites out. We've got every kind of electric pot out here today yeah um, and we're going to be connecting with uh, you guys on Facebook as well some great questions came through I'm gonna start in fact with one of those that came through from Sandy Crenia so Sandy Merry Christmas I'm sending you lots of Christmas chair she said share a good uh, recipe for gammon in electric pot okay so I like <laughs> this one because when it comes to Christmas Day or over the festive season your stove is doing the most yeah and then even though it's a full burn if you've got big pots going you can't fit Four big pots. Yeah, on you've the got stove. to divide and conquer. I've divide and conquer. Lot, yeah. And that's where these come up. This is the a pressure cooker and this is a slow cooker. I love them because you basically My set it. Favorite. You set it, forget it, and you come back later. This. I agree with you. It's so, so amazing. It's super easy to do. So because the pressure cooker is closer to me, I'm going to use the pressure cooker. <laughs> because such a man. Uh, you're such a guy. Um, I was going to think it would work do, over you. Do you know what I like about this is? Because your house then fills with the aromas of whatever's cooking. Yes. So for the whole day, you've got to slow cook beef, yeah. whatever you're doing in there, oh, and the drippings. Of oh, the, the drippings. The drippings, baby. But the pressure cooker, the pressure cooker is cooker. an amazing device because you're able to achieve a tenderness. Absolutely. What people don't know about the pressure cooker you can also set it to do a slow cook 
So you can also cook something for like a very like hours. It's all about the settings. And nowadays the pressure cookers aren't, aren't like the old ones. It's just like the, the tin with the lid. Thing. They're all <laughs> electronic now, so you can set it. So what I like doing. Zhuzh. Okay. So okay, what are we going to be doing? We're what gonna, is the recipe that you have chosen for set? We're going to do a gammon. It okay. works really well with roast chicken with leg of lamb. Obviously the leg of lambs are a little shorter. They cut that long bone off. They fit inside there. So. For this, ex for this example today, I'm using the gammon for a specific reason because I want to create that smoky broth. Okay. And then what I do is I take that smoky broth and I freeze them in ice cube trays and I pop them in a bag and I write on there smoky, smoky broth. broth. Okay. So when Just it's in winter, case someone doesn't put it in their... their you, know, <laughs> you know what? That's actually a imagine, good idea. Imagine my surprise. Um, a smoky GNT. But no, what will happen is when it comes to winter and it's time to make a PM soup or any soup to be honest, Ooh. you've got this beautiful stock that's going to amplify that soup so Beautiful much. fortified stock. Cool. So anytime we can cook and we can get the most out of, out of ingredients, that's what we're going to do. Sure. So first things first, we're going to put it on a bed of celery. Okay, so you're going all the whole celery. Is going yeah, in, the huh? thing about the celery, celery leaves is they're beautiful, fresh and like in solids. Mm. People throw them away. Yeah. I actually don't know why. But anyway, we don't use waste. them. Waste and then whatnot. these are little more <clears> tender parts that goes in. Carrots, I'm going to add them all. All done is just peel them. I don't need okay. to cut it up. It, at the end, the veggies are going to go into the garden to the compost heap. Okay. So keep it nice and chunky. So I'm because using, we're just extracting the flavor and the nutrients from them. That yes. You want. So, okay. I'm using baby onions. Little shallots almost. Are those shallots or no, baby onions? No, they're just baby onions. Okay. Yeah, but I'm keeping the skins on. <clears throat> the skins give flavor and they give color. Okay. So that, that rich caramel color comes sure. from the skins. Oh wow. So okay. that goes in. So what I'm gonna do now is take out my gammon. So I'm gonna keep the netting on the gammon. It's not necessary to take it off right now. It's fine. So keep the netting on. Uh, also, even with pressure cooker, oven, doesn't matter, on the braai, take your gammon out the fridge an hour before you start cooking it. You, want, you want the inside <clears throat> to be the same temperature as the outside, outside. of the gammon. So it cooks evenly and nicely. Exactly. Okay. If, you have, if you have a colder center, or you just take it out the fridge, you can have a colder center and the outside's gonna be a little warmer. So it's gonna cook at different degrees. You don't want that. You want a beautifully sure. evenly cooked gammon. That goes in. Boom. So now... Ta-da. Bay leaves. All day, all day. Of course. All of course. day. There we go. Yeah, and I've, I've introduced one for the, the gods. I've also introduced bay leaves into almost everything that I do now because of you. I get it. It I makes understand. such a difference. And it's I just understand. like, yeah. So then that's going in there. So we're going to get some beautiful smoky notes coming out of our beautiful gammon. And, what, and why is that? Because what have they done to this gammon before? They smoked it. Okay. And Woolies gammons, oh, there's a reason they won five out of five for the Fairy Ladies tasting panel. Ooh. The gammons are amazing. Spectacular. Okay. And beach smoked. It's, it's the real deal. So that beautiful beach um, smoke flavor is going to go into the stock. Oh, a complementing so flavor place, to, do you know what this is? All you're going to smell now is smokiness of my... Okay. I'm thinking like a soy of some kind. Funny, this is a very woody maple. It's the maple syrup from Willie's. Wow. It's so woody, really? sweet. It's amazing. Oh. So that with the smokiness of our gammon, think about that sweetness Goodness and the smokiness. Gracious. Oh, it's going to be okay. amazing. Okay. I want to balance it out a little bit, so a little bit of vinegar. And this is where you can do the same thing with the chicken, with your lamb, right? All of that. If you're going to add a mustard to the end, which I'm going to do, very important, when you add mustard to a sauce, you basically, you've done cooking. You're done cooking, off the heat, that's when you add, add your mustard. mustard. Oh, okay. You add it too soon, all that mustard flavor just disappears. Just Boom, cooks away. Gone. Okay, cool. So, okay, so that's going to stay until a, the very end. Yeah. A little bit of water goes in just to help generate that steam and help with that stock. Lid on. Same with the, with the slow cooker, and you let it go. Leave Same it. with the lamb, same with the chicken, same with the gammon. What I like about these is you basically set it on high pressure, low pressure. Um, low time, high, high time, time sure. high temperature, low temperature. At the end, you're going to get the same result. Okay, and, and, with, and with, amazing. The, with the gammon like this, how long are you looking at, at cooking this puppy? If I'm going to do a slow cook on it, I will do it for, I'll sit on a very low temperature and do a slow cook. That's one thing about a pressure cooker though, if you want to cook it really quickly, that gammon will be done in half an hour. And it'll still be tender oh, and beautiful. It will be full apart and, uh, and you, the nice byproduct, you've got this amazing stock that you can freeze in ice cubes and have yes. smoky GNTs with later. <laughs> no. You, you can keep it for your pea and ham soup. Come on, I absolutely love that. Um, beautiful. So hopefully, Sandy, that's answered your question. Yeah. That's given something in an electric pond. Um, absolutely amazing. So um, I, I'm feeling a vibe here. There's, there's been a particular birthday vibe going on today. And one particular person we've been trying to get in touch with this morning because it's his very, very special day. And I'm hoping just because I've got a phone right in front of me that I'm going to be able to connect with this person right now. I don't even know who this person is, though. Let's see if he is there. 
who could this be? Is it our very own birthday boy? A very good morning. Samizi, are you there? <laughs> Samizi! On my, my 1920s phone, I'm going to transfer you to video call. Um, Songaga! <laughs> oh, man! Hello. Hello, you beautiful human being. How are you doing, my brother? I am 48 and 40 fabulous! It's always such a celebration when we connect with you. I feel like this is your fourth birthday for the year for some reason because this has been a celebratory year, but also a year I think that has been tinged with sadness for you as well. So we're sending you lots of love as I'm sure you go through a range of emotions today. How are you feeling on this very, very special day for you, my friend? Um... I woke up feeling very emotional today um, because it's, it's really the first time I don't get a call to say happy birthday for my mother, but um, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, uh, we love you, you so much! You, you've got... You've got to know, um, our whole studio is, is loving you we right now. We are with you, we are feeling you. Um, you've got to know that this whole country, my friend, is sitting right beside you right now. And I know that your mother is sending you love right now. And I know spiritually you're going to have an amazing day because she is sending you that love. And so are we, my friend. I, I can only imagine that even in this COVID-19 year that you're going to find a way to celebrate. What are your plans, my friend, for your birthday? Well, today um, I'm gonna. I'm, I've got a radio show that I'm gonna do now until twelve, and then I do. I'm gonna go to the spa until five o'clock. Good. And then, and then um, my friends are also gonna host me for dinner um, uh, until late. But I'm gonna be having a lot of champagne. Good. And uh, celebrate. It, it has been an amazing year for me, honestly. Um, it has been a a such like a trying year, but at the same time, a triumphant year for me. Uh, in so many ways, I've done things that I never thought I would ever do, and they all a success. And so I'm very grateful. Um, it's a bittersweet, but more than anything, I know that I've gained an ancestor, and I'm so happy. I'm in a good space. I'm happy. Everything is just looking good, and I'm looking forward to 2021. Um, and a lot of people are also looking forward to it because of the, the positive energy that you have brought to South Africa and the world and certainly to our show every time that we've connected with you. We are so proud of you for this year and everything that you've been able to achieve and never forget how much we and this whole country loves you, my friend. And we are, like I said, right beside you for all of the emotions that you feel today. So I hope that you are able to at least take a bit of time to savour the special moment for yourself and just never forget forget my friend that you really are loved happy birthday brother bear thank you and thank you for the come on idea i didn't i've got a slow cook i'm gonna use it thank you for saving my time do it christmas. do it my friend and merry christmas merry christmas oh, oh my man. goodness that was so amazing to connect with on his birthday oh man what a lovely human being we love some gaga and we love you guys as well we want those questions those conundrums to keep coming to us the lines are open my phone is ready to ring chef clem is ready to answer any of your culinary conundrums on the culinary hotline bling ting 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 <laughs>
Yes, you arrive deep in the festive and we are live. It's Espresso, of course. Now, set in the wonder of the Cradle Boutique Hotel in Johannesburg, Tiger Brands treated foodie guests to an array of delicious dishes fit for royalty under the African skies. All with an added twist, of course, and Tabiso had a front row seat. Take a look. Tiger Brands have been hard at work cooking something up that is truly exciting and absolutely amazing and we're here to find out all about it. It's called the Add a Twist campaign and it's happening at the Cradle Boutique Hotel in Johannesburg. We're having all of this happen under the African sky and I'll tell you something, you and I are going to see the brightest stars in Mzansi. It's a culinary journey of note, come with me. Edna, the atmosphere is telling. You've brought something truly amazing here today. But why was it so important for you and the team at Tiger Brands to bring all of this energy to the people of South Africa? We learned, uh, even during lockdown, is that South Africans like to experiment. You know, they want to cook. They want to actually try something new. So this uh, added twist is all about inspiring South Africans to use what they already have in the pantry and just experiment let, be, let them be the first one to experience what we means about uh, uh, adding a twist you know how do we just twist up a mrs boss and a cross and black girl to add a nice sauce mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you play around you just use this uh, fantastic brands to create whatever you want mm -hmm. you can actually have an amazing delicious meal To say that I'm excited to get involved with this culinary journey would be a total understatement. Take a look, the knives and forks are laid out across the table. And I heard a little rumor, there's a DIY station for desserts where you can pick and choose what you want to have. You know where to find me if you need me. I came is for food. I'm obsessed with food I eat. I, I, I'm an avid foodie and I wanted to try how they were going to make the meals. I wanted to see the twist and they brought it through. I really think they did bring the twist. So the food for me was an absolute standout. We're going into we're in December now, you know, and so we're going to be having uh, a lot of dinners and, you know, festivities. And, and it's so nice to use what you've got at home, you know, and I, I think this was a great campaign to just add that twist and to know that you can actually be that amazing chef at home. Well guys, you've clearly seen for yourselves that the food here today is absolutely delectable. It doesn't mean I'm gonna stop eating, I'm still going back for some more, but here to tell me why we're also excited about this entire campaign is the brand manager for All Gold and Mrs. Balls. It's Itumeleng Matlare. Itumeleng, you look amazing. And I saw you at the food station. You and I were having just the same amount of fun with it. Why are you so excited about this launch? We really wanted to make sure that we keep giving our South African consumers value, like literally throughout the year so how do you make sure that they can continue to buy our products use what they already have in their cupboards to make you know the most amazing and delicious meals add a twist to the most classic dishes that you already have it celebrates our heritage products the products that we have in our pantry brands like Woku, baked beansy mrs balls your mayonnaise so i love it because it just encourages people to take things that they already have in their pantry and just add a twist and come up with something new ah from vicky crease to lona maseko today i am surrounded by the creme de la creme of mzansi's culinary scene in fact let's just jump right in and catch up with them Lorna, as someone like that who's always in the food scene, always working in that space, you know how important it is to have the right ingredients. How has this event been able to capture that? And I love the idea of adding a twist to ingredients and dishes that we grew up with that we absolutely love. Um, and you know, it's like that chakalaka that you know so well. Now why don't you blitz it up, add a bit of cream, have a coconut cream chakalaka. You know, it's taking those beautiful things that we grew up with and just giving them fresh life. 
Oh, Vicky, I've loved seeing you so much today. And to see you bring so much magic has been such a delight. Today has been all about adding that twist and making something magical. What's been your favorite twist so far? I think what's been amazing is the way that people have responded to food that's comfort food. So just to see the way that we've added a twist, you know, I've added things like corn, creme brulee to the starter. We've done a char grilled peanut butter skewer and grilled beef fillet, gorgeous uh, coup bean puree. I mean, these are all things that we know, but we've done it with a difference. I think that's been exciting. The starters for me stood out. It was the first time I ever had a creme brulee that wasn't a dessert. Having a creme brulee made out of sweet corn for me was absolutely beautiful. I loved it. I finished the whole thing. Ah, uh, after a full day of immense laughter and a three-course meal culminating in the most delectable dessert, a full-blown dessert station, might I add, we've been treated like royalty today. Also, hey, a surprise safari theme. Think about this, royalty, right? Listen, our smiles, yes, full on our faces, but our tummies are also full. Uh, I'm just going to take a nap here and wait for the leftovers. I can actually Yum. smell all that good food Yum. just like coming through that end, so <laughs> yeah. I love it. But as if delicious and creative food wasn't already enough, Add A Twist is giving you at home the chance to win big. Now to enter, simply buy any four of the participating products, dial star 120, star 1039, or WhatsApp 066 412 2275 and follow the prompts thereafter. Yeah, and get this, 10,000 Rand is being given away daily, so enter now to secure your chance to be a Winner. And remember, make sure that you keep that till slip as proof of purchase and your T's and C's, of course, always apply. <laughs> Buy any four participating products and stand a chance to win 10,000 Rand daily. Add a twist challenge! Add a twist to everyday meals. <laughs> all right, yes, we're getting into the festive fields right now, and we know that the festive season is all about family and fun, hopefully for you. And it can be a little bit stressful as well. Lots of Christmas shopping to do, lots of work that needs to be done around the house, especially if you are hosting, even if it's a small gathering. Things got to be just right, yeah? And, and I hope this year a lot of people will be a bit smart with how they plan their gatherings. We're doing a very small Christmas. My mom and dad are in town. My oh, brother's great. here. So at least I'll be able to Of course, to you're missing your sis. She's yeah. in Australia, so we'll just video call them early hours of the morning because we've learned how to do that now yes. now that we can we can connect to the family over video so i'm also looking forward to to spending it with family but i think uh, lest we forget life still does happen and uh, you know things will be going on in your household you need to be able to have access to as much as possible and i'll tell you what is a game changer this festive season is the new super app called avo you can literally shop groceries on there you can order food you can shop tech mm. you can get b a homeware babyware even dial in a handyman and get access to a whole range of professional services. As I said earlier, each one has been ratified by the app and I'm gonna take a look through here. So just at the top of the app here, you can see groceries, eating in and out, shopping, prepaid liquor, there's a whole range of things, but let's go to professional home services. Just imagine it's like the day before Christmas and you get locked out of your house or something. Um, you but, can get a locksmith. Um, completely, so you can get into alarm systems, armed response, oh, nice. electrical repair and maintenance, a locksmith, get the access you need who hasn't needed that. Some plumbing. Uh, plumbing. Um, there is so much going on there. Um, anything else that you may need, I love that. You can even get a gas refill. Um, and just in the peak of winter, if you ever try to find a place to refill your gas, and it's unbelievable. By the luck. And it, it takes, and then you drive from place to place looking for gas. And yeah, you want exactly. To go home yeah. Without a gas bottle. And, and you're like the last person on earth to, to not find it. I love that. But I mean, there's restaurants. There are so many special offers that you can get into. Groceries. It can all happen here. But I love the most is the special deals, but um, absolutely brilliant. And the fact that you can find it all in one place. So if you need to do any last minute yeah. shopping and you want to avoid the stores, maybe then download the Avo app. Plus, if you need plumbing or a locksmith or even just, as we said, gas delivered to your house, you can do all of that via this app as well. So go and download it from your app store or the money app itself if you're a net bank client.
welcome back. You're live with Espresso, our second last show of the year. Can you believe it? Welcome back to the Culinary Hotline. Bling! Ting, ting, ting! Sorry for shouting on your TV, but I do get excited about it, especially for our last edition of 2020. So we are joined again by Chef Clem to help out with your culinary conundrums. If you have any questions for our amazing chef extraordinaire, give us a call. Um, you can call right now, in fact, 021-110-5552. Is it happening? Is ring. it happening? It's waiting to ring. It's waiting to ring. <laughs> See how presentient I was there. Um, hi, this is Chef Clem and Gren on the Culinary Hotline. Um, who am I speaking to? Hello, are you there? Veronica, are you there? Yes. Hi, Veronica. It's Graham. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. I'm um, great to connect with you, sending you all of the festive cheer that we can. What is your question for Chef Clem this morning? No, I just wanted to know you. So now sometimes we want to use this recipe. Then it's all of one and we don't have one and you don't have the fresh herbs. Now I just wanted to know if you can use something else instead of that now. I bet you you can, but let's ask the professional. Great question, Veronica. Thank you so much. I'm going to put the phone down. You go straight to your TV and listen. All right. Okay. And right now, she's asking about recipes okay. that have wine so, in them. Yes, a lot of recipes need wine, need fresh herbs. Can you substitute them out? Let's start okay. with the wine. The good thing about adding wine to your food, the only way it's enhancing it is by adding another flavor profile. Okay. You don't need it. You really oh, don't. So, so it doesn't need the ferment, fermented whatever, whatever. So it, no. It's just flavor. Absolutely. Okay. So let's talk about a dish that we normally, even risotto. We know risotto, you normally start off with your, with your onions and your rice and the olive oil. You toast it all together and then you add a little bit of wine and you cook that out and reduce that. It's as simple as just taking that, that part out. You really, it's, it's not crucial to the recipe. I mean, it adds extra okay. flavor, but you can totally change it out, take it out. Okay, so omitting the wine, you can do. What about replacing the wine? I, you see, the thing is, wine adds a little bit of acidity because alcohol is slightly acidic. And then obviously the flavor profile of, of Whatever, wine. Whichever wine or, variety Or beer, is. for okay. instance, which is also slightly bitter. So if you wanted to add a little bit of that, we made those beautiful roast potatoes with a little bit of malt vinegar. Oh, yes, we did. Yeah. So you the get a, perfect potato. Yes. It was. Oh. It was the perfect potato. Yes. So that, that malt has a little bit of caramelized flavor coming through from it and that acidity. So I would go for like a malt vinegar, a not a very vinegar. acidic vinegar. Okay. But again, you honestly do not need to okay. even substitute. Just take it you, out. Now that you've debunked <clears throat> the entire chef world. Watch everyone come after me, but it's the yeah. truth. It's, 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 the, it's truth. the truth. You really don't you need it. to. You said it on TV, it must be. Okay, and then the fresh herbs? So, fresh herbs. Look, number one for me, it's very easy to grow fresh herbs. I mean, Woolies now, you can buy the herbs in the little, little yeah, packs they're, that they're keep on growing. They're quite inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I do know, I mean, it's simple as, as it is to just water them. Mm. Some people just can't. But I mean, also, what if you've had a, like a big cooking week and now you've run out? And you've, like, you've completely used them all. Yeah. Perfect. That's where dried herbs come in. And I love using dried herbs. It's, it's not as fresh as the, your, your fresh variety, your growing variety, but what they do deliver is intense flavor. flavor. Because exactly. the moisture's been taken out, the flavor's been amplified. Okay. So, do you want to play a little, little game? Okay. You wanna? Are you sure? I will, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm always up for it, buddy. Let's see. I don't know why you made me so nervous there with the way that you set that up. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. So, do you want to give this sure. one a go? Okay. And these work really well in your sauces. And unlike fresh herbs, you can actually add dried herbs in the beginning of the cooking it's, process. It's not giving me much, man. Like a, a dried parsley. It's uh, TV. You must fake it. Oh, you smell this. Uh, don't say it's not giving you anything. Uh, I know, but I'm like, okay. I... Okay. That's oregano. Really? I expected... A, Oregano to smell stronger or slightly different. Okay. Yeah, that's oregano. Okay. I didn't so, give it the finger crush like you did. That, so we use why, oregano okay. for, we know like in our, our pasta sauces, in our, a lot of Italian dishes use oregano. Also Greek dishes, really like that. This one is very simple, but we don't actually use enough of it. And I love this one. It's got a minty flat mint. mint. It's dried mint. mint. Dried it's mint. so good. Yeah. This with your leg of lamb. A lot ah, of garlic, olive yeah. oil. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. This one's super easy. That's, can I, can I just... Majora, I don't know. Ro uh, rosemary, raspberry? Rosemary. Rosemary, rosemary. Really? And this guy's wow, tarragon. I'm, I'm off my game today. Tarragon. tarragon. So okay. we normally do um, 
basil with tomato, right? Yeah, if yeah, you can yeah. find fresh tarragon, try fresh tar tarragon and tomato. Mind blowing. Wow. It's so good. Okay. So, like I said, with, when you're using dried herbs, you can actually add it to your cooking process in the beginning, whereas with fresh herbs, you add it at the end because you want to keep that fresh, light flavor. Mm. I love these. They also last for a really long time. Oh, oh. sorry, sorry, to sorry about you. that. Sorry. Uh, a very good morning. Is this uh, Teresa? Good morning, it is Teresa speaking. Can I ask you a question, please? Yes, you may. That's why we are here <laughs> so for you. Nice. What is <laughs> your question fine. for Chef Tim? Okay. I would like to know whether I can use ginger beer in the slow cooker for my gammon and how long must I cook it in the slow cooker on, when it's on high. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Thank Theresa you, May. Dear. Have, a, have a very Merry Christmas. Okay. Theresa May, that's a very good question. Hey, yes. Can you? Yes. Is it not going to go... No. Ginger beer and gammon go really well together. The ginger flavors pair really well with your gammon. There's a kind of a rule when it comes to gammon. When you cook it in the oven or when you boil it in the pot or even in the slow cooker, but the slow cookers are slightly different. There you go. So it's normally half an hour per 500 grams of gammon. Okay. Slow cook is a little different because you, you intentionally want to cook it for a very long period of time where you don't have to maintain what's happening in the pot. Sure. So it will cook for about four to six hours. Four but you to can, six hours. You can, you can decide low. that okay. yeah, at a very low heat. And then what will happen with the ginger beer, especially if you add other elements to it, like the bay leaves, like the peppercorns, mm. like the garlic, for instance, it's going to reduce slightly and it's going to become so delicious. Mm. And it's going to glaze your gammon with that beautiful ginger beer. I love using ginger beer in savory yeah, dishes. Sounds oh, great. Man. It's yeah. so amazing. Marinades for Rice, ginger beer. So thank you, it's Theresa May. It's own beautiful glaze while it's cooking. Yeah. Absolutely thank love you that. for that. Great one. question. Thank you, Theresa May. You are a superstar. So let's see who else we've got here. Kadlejo Isaac uh, Mabitsela saying, Good morning, Espresso. My question is, what's the best Christmas dish the chef would recommend for the family? I've got two. <laughs> okay. okay, let me go with, the, we go, we'll go with one. Well, I think there's another question I might have a little later, so I'll talk about it. Okay. My main one is doing a beautiful lamb roast. Okay. okay, you don't have to do leg of lamb. You can do shoulder of lamb, which is slightly um, not, yeah, it's slightly more inexpensive, less in, less expensive. What's the yeah. Graham? Yeah, yeah. Who is? less expensive. Yeah, less expensive. Fine. And what's nice oh. about that? Okay, okay. Leg of lamb. I'm getting there. Uh, very good morning. Welcome to the culinary hotline. Who am I speaking to? Weasley. Hey, Weasley. How are you doing, my friend? Where are you phoning from? Fine, thanks yourself. From Wooden Old Rose, the place in the Free State. Ah, great to connect with you. You sound like a wonderful person, full of Christmas cheer, so thank you for that. What's your, your culinary conundrum for Chef Clem this morning? I just want to find out how to make your own mayonnaise. If you don't have mayonnaise, how to make it yourself. Okay, great okay. question. Go straight to your TV. Okay, definitely. So, Wesley, I'm going to answer your question in a Second, I was going to finish Katleko's cooking yeah. question quickly. With a lamb roast, when you roast it off and you serve it on the day, right, you're guaranteed to have leftovers. That leftover turns into shawarma, turns into curry, turns into stew, turns into toasted lamb cheese rolls. sandwiches, yeah. wraps, everything. So definitely, lamb is the gift that keeps on giving. To your question, Wesley, okay. about the mayonnaise. How do you make it? Okay, so first things first. Take your eggs out the fridge. Again, get them as close to room temperature as possible. Okay. They go into a bowl first. Now, normally you can use a, the normal mixing bowl. I also am a big fan of using the big platters that have a little bit like a, a raised side. Because okay. as you're whipping it, it gets more air into it. So, very important. You start off with your egg yolks and you start off with garlic. The garlic does two things. So, do you separate your egg? So, it's egg yes. yolk. Yes. Keep your egg whites for... For your meringue. For meringues. That's like the that. first thing you're going to cool. make it. So, egg yolks, garlic. The garlic flavors it and helps emulsify the oil into the eggs. Oh, right? Okay. So, salt, and then you slowly start drizzling in your oil. And because you're using a, I use a big plate, it's not going to rock around like a normal bowl okay. does. And the trick is to go super, super, super slow until you can see that the color of the eggs start to lighten. And then you can go a little faster. And then hit it with a little bit of vinegar. Uh, bring back that malt vinegar. Okay, malt there vinegar go. in mayonnaise is so Magic. good. Okay. Otherwise, a bit of lemon and it just season at the end. It is very easy, but the one thing you need to try is get your eggs as close to room temperature as possible. It'll all come together if you okay. do that. Room temperature, separate yeah. egg yolks, a um, little mm. bit of oil, emulsify and the, and the garlic too. To quick one, quick one. Use canola oil, not olive oil. Olive oil makes your mayonnaise a little too bitter. Or even if you're making aioli, use a half and half, half olive oil, half canola or sunflower. 
the olive oil is okay. a little too bitter. Okay, in terms of, yeah, for, so for the purposes of that. The mayonnaise. Absolutely. Like that you want to make your own mayonnaise. Um, um, absolutely beautiful. Um, there are so many questions that we haven't been able to get to. I've got to say thank you to all of you who have contributed to our culinary conundrums. And um, Chef Lim, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a thank you. Oh, buddy. I don't know if this is the last time I'm going to see you. Why would you say that? I don't know, man. I'm no, see we'll you we'll see you tomorrow. Time. But um, let's close off this amazing show with one last amazing performance. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3. Now, R&B and pop artist Cohen released his latest single titled WWW Wild Wild West on the 27th of November this year. The urban pop love song reflects on the tough times experienced in a relationship and finding comfort with your loved one. WWW has a unique urban vibe to it with smooth and melodic vocals that Cohen is known for. Without further ado, here's Cohen with his new track, Triple W. Take it away. Seeing you, seeing you, all my worries disappear. Tell the truth, tell the truth. Did you know that I'd be here? That's so cool. I get shivers when you're near. When you whisper in my ear. Knows just what I wanna hear. Now it's clear the way we feel is dangerous. Feeling like we're dangerous. We can't deny it. So we should take it step by step. You know I need your love in it. This wild, wild west. Taken by your everything and how you got me going, giving me something. Tell me something you don't tell everybody Any night that you got it You're the life of the party Follow my lead Baby, I lost that supply How we moving tonight We're like right to the night It's just so cool I get shivers when you're near When you whisper in my ear No, this is what I want to hear Now it's clear The way we feel is dangerous Feeling like we're made for this, we can't deny it. So we should take it step by step. You know I need your love in it. This wild, wild west. Take it by you for everything and how you got me going, giving me something I can't get over now. You, one of a kind, and nobody wasting time. Sure. You can't have mine If I can't have more of yours Put the troubles aside From what I can see Everything's fine Everything's fine So we should take it step by step You know I need your love in it This wild, wild west Take it by your everything huh? You got me going hey, Giving me something I can't get over now Trust 
Got some street cred, man. So, so cool, so talented, unbelievable. Gemma, you're a superstar. Thank you. Honestly, it's great having being, you here today. Yeah, for, for being the most talented Pedro that we've, we have in the studio, <laughs> we really appreciated um, the musical talents and just your, your presence here has been a wonderful. You're a legend. You guys are amazing. We'll see you for the last show of the year tomorrow. <gasps> what? Don't forget how much we love you. <gasps> South Africa, Clover wishes you a happy festive season. Celebrate it with friends, loved ones, and all your family favorites. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.